Kansas City Chiefs in a three-way tie for first place in the Western Division of the AFC take on the defending Super Bowl champion, Oakland Raiders. I'm Merle Herman along with George Coons, and this is the story in the Western Division. Kansas City, Denver, and San Diego. Oakland, a must-win today for the Oakland Raiders, and the Seattle Seahawks are still having lots and lots of problems. The Kansas City Chiefs will be kicking off. Oakland won the toss, selected to receive Chester Willis, number 38, and Arthur Worthington, number 22. Worthington on the near side, ready to take the kickoff from Nick Lowry. And here we go. The Chiefs trying to make it two in a row over the Raiders this year. They won the previous meeting 27 to nothing two weeks ago. Whittington from the five. 20, 25, daylight 30, 35. Can he do it? And he is finally pulled down by Nick Lowry, the man who kicked off in Kansas City territory at the 48-yard line. Arthur Whittington, a 47-yard return, his longest return to date, 23 yards, and the Oakland Raiders break, break big on the 48-yard line of Kansas City. A super way to start a game for a team that's got to win. Whittington, you see a wall of blockers and a lane that he gets through, a diving try. He gets up there, you'll see number eight at the top part of the screen, Lowry coming in. A typical kicker tackle, but he gets him out of down after a significant gain inside the 50-yard line of Kansas City right off the bat. Mark Wilson on the draw to number 33, Kenny King, and he is all the way down to the 41-yard line, almost the 40-yard line of Kansas City before he is stopped by Jerry Plant at number 57, the left inside linebacker, and Gary Barbaro, number 26, who is the free safety. This is the Oakland backfield. Mark Wilson, his second start of the year. He's out of Brigham Young. Kenny King, a fine runner from Oklahoma. And the wide receiver is Cliff Branch, a world-class sprinter. He can still go and really burn it. Bradshaw and Ramsey, tremendous speed. Three wide receivers. This is the handoff to Jensen. Jensen inside the 40, may have the first down at the 38-yard line. After a gain of eight, Jensen comes back with a gain of two. Gary Spaney, number 59, makes the tackle, and we have a timeout to check for a measurement. Now the Oakland defense offensive line, rather, led by Art Shell, by Kurt Marsh, who replace Gene Upshaw at the starting left guard spot. And I think, George, that you've played against a few of these guys in your career, not this team, but the defensive unit that'll be coming on later on. You know about the personality of this Oakland Raider ball club. Well, I know, too, that as a rookie, Kurt Marsh is gonna have a, a long day today trying to get in there and learn his uh, learn his position against some good people. Here you'll see the linebacking core, Whitney Paul playing defensive end and linebacker, defensive end on occasions, and now the offense coming up against the defense for another try. Two tight ends in for Oakland, and on the slant to the 38, flag goes down. Derek Jensen carrying the ball. He may have picked up two. Jerry Blanton, the linebacker from Kentucky, the third-year man, makes the tackle. And we have a penalty coming up against the Oakland Raiders. The referee today is Bob Frederick, as backs were in motion. Illegal motion, number 16, offense. Bob Frederick, the We're referee, down. and his associates, Lou Palazzi, Jerry Bergman, Bob Third Leakes, Bill Swanson, Ron Murphy, and Don Hakes. The ball is resting on the 43-yard line of Kansas City. It is third down at about six. Mark Wilson to the air for the first time to Branch. Threw the ball a little bit behind him, but the ball was catchable. This was intended for Cliff Branch. Eric Harris, number 44, had the coverage. He's the right quarterback. So Mark Wilson is unsuccessful in his first attempt, and the punting unit will come on for the Oakland Raiders, and that will, of course, mean Ray Guy will be in the ball game. A score that uh, Kansas City fans are tremendously interested in. Buffalo 9, Denver 7. They're in the fourth quarter. J.T. Smith, number 86, goes deep as Ray Guy with a 47.1 punting average gets ready to put it in the air. This won't help his average too much, but he can put it down there and get it out of bounds and put Kansas City in a big hole if he hits it just right. Kansas City going for the block. They do not get it. six or seven yard line so Ray Guy who was the number one draft choice 36 yard kick this will take a little bit off his average but he talked about that uh, George uh, he said that as our offense gets better my punting percentage is going to go down what do you mean by that well it, obviously if his offense moves the ball down the field farther you'll have less distance to kick to get it down in a coffin corner situation or into the end zone 
Here you see two facets of the kicker. Number one, you see a man with great distance. Number two, a man with accuracy who can put Kansas City on the seven-yard line in a tough position to start their first offensive play. And it's Bill Kenny, number nine at quarterback. Head not 48, Delaney, number 37 of the running backs. Joe Delaney, the sensational rookie, makes a dive for about a yard. That's about all he gets. Ted Hendricks, number 83, who blocked a field goal attempt last week by Tampa Bay with eight seconds left to preserve a victory for the Oakland Raiders, their first in some time. They've been shut out three weeks in a row. He makes the tackle. It'll be second down and one, or rather second and nine after a gain of one. And I think we're all anxious to see Joe Delaney. Well, everybody's had nothing but good things to say about Delaney. He's a difference in the Kansas City offense. Here are wide receivers. There you see your offensive line, the most mature unit on the team, and one year more experience at this point than the uh, Oakland Raiders offensive line, if you believe that more. Second down one, had not. Delaney are the running back split and there's a fumble and the Raiders may have recovered. Johnny Robinson number 68 number 57 Randy McClanahan in there and the Chiefs get the first or rather the uh, Raiders get the first big break of the day as Robinson the nose tackle the rookie and let's watch him makes the recovery. The most experienced man in the offensive line Jack Rudney miscue with the quarterback you see the scramble for the ball. Oakland has it in on a seven yard line of Kansas City ready to go in for a score Johnny Robinson number 68 from Louisiana Tech recovering that fumble and Mark Wilson the first round draft choice of 1980 for the Oakland Raiders a starting quarterback today starting a second ball game as Jim Plunkett has gone to the sideline it is Wilson's job until he loses it first and goal for Oakland Wilson touchdown Morris Bradshaw first Oakland touchdown surprising they come out to throw the ball first down inside the 10 but he does Bradshaw working against a good defensive back with a fine move there catching the ball for the score it's tough to come back from seven down when the start of the game has just begun or the start of the game has just occurred but Kansas City better regroup get this field uh, this extra point over with and see if they can get their offense back in motion Bob Chandler to hold for Chris Barr right through the middle and Oakland takes the lead 12 minutes and 34 seconds to go in the first quarter. And the Raiders, who are surprisingly a three-point uh, pick in this ball game, have jumped into the lead because of a Kansas City fumble. Well, they said in the paper today it was a two-and-a-half-point pick. Uh, field advantage is a, lot, uh, is a lot to do with that. When you take a look at the field, you folks at home will see the sodded-in area, which is just a little longer than an already long grass field. The uh, groundskeeper did an excellent job getting the field ready for this game. And when you consider the fact that Kansas City has not played a regular season game on natural turf, they're going to have their hands full trying to cope with just, and literally, Merle, tripping over the grass because it is a little longer than they're used to. And Oakland has the advantage because they practice on that a couple of days this week where Kansas City practiced at home, did not practice at the stadium yesterday. And that drive took four seconds. One play. James Murphy Oakland to kick off. Chris Barr will kick off. James Murphy, number 80, is deep for Kansas City. Barr puts it in the air. It's going to come up short. James Murphy takes the Oakland kickoff. Murphy bangs his way out to the 35-yard line. And Kansas City will have the ball first down on its own 35. And we welcome those of you who have been watching the Denver-Buffalo game, which... Buffalo won by a score of 9-7, to seven, and Oakland first has quickly Kansas scored City on Kansas City here in the first period. And here's what happened. The Oakland Raiders recovered a Kansas City fumble on the six-yard line, and Mark Wilson immediately hit Morris Bradshaw for a touchdown pass, and Oakland jumped in front, and now Kansas City is trying to get it going here on the 35-yard line with 12 minutes and 23 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Hadnut takes the handoff. Hadnut gets maybe a yard about all stopped by Matt Villa number 55 the inside linebacker on the right side had not who is in his second year out of Texas Tech getting a yard and no more it'll be second down nine as Kansas City trails at seven to nothing here in the first quarter Kansas Kansas City uh, again at the short end of the stick right now you see the ball on the six second yard line after a fumble recovery a touchdown pass Mark Wilk Mark Wilson the number 81 
Bradshaw there going against Gary Green, and that's how uh, Oakland got on the scoreboard very early in the game. It is second down nine. Bill Kenny at quarterback for Kansas City. Slot to the right. This is Delaney trying to get to the outside, and he can't. He is forced out of bounds at the 40-yard line by Otis McKinney, number 23, who is the strong safety, the four-year veteran from the University of Colorado. So the Kansas City Chiefs in a three-way tie going into the action today in the Western Division of the AFC. Of course, uh, the Chiefs, when they hear that score that uh, Buffalo has beaten Denver, will have a little extra incentive today as we study Bill Kenny, the quarterback, in his third year out of Northern Colorado. It's a nickel defense now for the Oakland Raiders. James Murphy and Stan Rome have joined the wide receiver core, and here we go on third down and five. to Joe Delaney as Kitty and Delaney freelance a play to the 44-yard line. Dwayne Osteen, number 35, the right cornerback, in to make the tackle. That would be short of a first down if the play stands. Dwayne Osteen, who is a four-year veteran from San Jose State. Joe Delaney is down, and that could really be a disaster for the Kansas City Chiefs. If it's any kind of a serious injury at all, Joe Delaney, who Reminds a lot of people of Walter Payton in the early days of Payton's career. He's a number two draft pick out of uh, Northwest Louisiana. He's the first chief to run for 100 or more yards in three consecutive games, and he has done that in the last three. 101 against New England, 106 against Oakland, 149 against Denver last week. And that 149 yards of a week ago is the most that any Kansas City back has rushed for since 1968 when the late Robert Holmes stacked up 158 yards against Cincinnati. So Joe Delaney, one of the most talked about young uh, running backs in a long, long time, walking a little easier now. Let's pick up the penalty. Offensive holding. Brad Buddy, number 66, guilty of the offensive hold. Marv Levy, the head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, who has guided his team to a 5-2 and two record. Third and 15. Billy Jackson, number 43, has come into the lineup for Kansas City, replacing Joe Delaney. Marv Levy in his fourth year with the Kansas City Chiefs. Finally has put it together. Up to the best start since 1971. Penalty takes the ball back to the 30-yard line. It is third down and 15 for the Chiefs. You know, that's that's two bad breaks right off the bat. Number one, a fumble inside the 10. And, and number two, a man who's been the difference in the Kansas City offense. Uh, Delaney going down with an injury to his left ankle. Let's hope it's not serious. We'd all like to see him get a shot at going for his 400-yard game. Oakland goes to a four-man front. And look at this, will you? Talk about a team that is keyed up. The Raiders are really keyed up. They beat Tampa Bay last week, 18 to 16, after being shut out for three consecutive weeks. Almost an unbelievable situation here in Oakland. You know the uh, the ball club again, not used to being on the on the losing end of a on the losing end of a season, as we hear the call from the official. They uh, they are jacked up for this game. They want to get going. We're going to show you again the play where Delaney uh, took that ankle injury. You see, quarterback number nine, Kenny, coming back. As he starts to scramble, number 90, Jones, comes in from the outside as Getty tries to push him past. Past, he ad-libs a little, underhands it to Delaney, who's right there. But all of a sudden, as he runs down here, he tries to get that stiff arm. Defensive man Osteen gets over and lands on his left ankle, which is where the problem was. Delaney slow and getting up and on the sideline now with medical attention being paid to him. And the report is twisted ankle, but he is expected to get back into the lineup today. Third down and 10 for Kansas City. The Chiefs trail by seven. Marshall in motion. Kenny looks for Marshall, incomplete in the midfield stripe. The coverage by Monty Jackson, number 42, who has beaten Dwayne Osteen out of the job at the right cornerback spot, the seven-year veteran from San Diego State. And Bob Grupp in the punting unit will come on for the Chiefs as the Chiefs will have to give up the football. So Bill Kenny, who fired a 64-yard touchdown pass to Marshall last week against Denver, just trying to get the first down on the far side but they misfired incomplete. Bob Grupp, 
who has a 39.5 punting average. Ted Watts, the rookie from Texas Tech, back to receive the punt here in the first quarter. 11.25 to go. Grupp sends it to Watts at the 23. And he is forced out of bounds on the 29-yard line. Chased out of bounds by Todd Thomas, number 62. That's a kick of 42 yards, a return of six, and we'll be back right after this message. The Raiderettes in Oakland, and that's where we are at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. I'm Merle Herman with George Coons, and the Oakland Raiders have the ball just shy of their own 30-yard line with Mark Wilson at quarterback. Wilson, who fired for a touchdown on his last play, goes to Cliff Branch on the far side at the 42, possibly the 43. Eric Harris, number 44, has him out of bounds, but it is a first down for the Oakland Raiders. The gain of 11. You know, he does have a lot of time to throw, and Wilson, as he steps back, you see great protection by the offensive line. No problem. As he looks, finally, he looks again to his left. The receiver coming back, and you have a chance to do that when you get a lot of time to throw the ball. Eric Harris, a very good quarterback over there to cover, but with a lot of time, it's a little easier for a receiver to get loose. Steve Sylvester over the ball at center. Marsh and Marvin to the guard. Shell and Lawrence to the tackles. The running play goes to Derek Jensen. He's across the 40 to the four, 45, rather, to the 47, where Mike Bell, number 99, the defensive right in, makes the stop for the Kansas City Chiefs. That Kansas City defensive line is a tough one. It is a tough one. It's an unbelievably tough young defensive line. If they're going to run, if Oakland is going to run, they're making it a point right now to try the right side of the line going against number 71, Lindstrom. That was a slight cutback, and Bell picked up the play from the back side. Let's see if Oakland keeps going right when they run. Second and six. Easily, Gary Green had the coverage. The number one draft choice five years ago from Baylor. So Bradshaw, who scored the touchdown in the pass reception, dropped that one. And Buffalo defeated Denver 9-7 on a field goal. That makes this game even more important. New England-Washington. New England will be here next week. That game is in the fourth quarter. New England down by two. And Baltimore-Cleveland, what a wild scoring game that is. Brian Seip has four touchdown passes. Tampa... Losing today, and now we go to third down and seven for the Oakland Raiders. Bob Chandler in the ball game. Chandler missing seven, and the reception is made by Derek Ramsey in the 84. Gary Green makes the tackle at the 36-yard line. Whitney Paul of a 53 in there also, a 17-yard pickup to Ramsey, and a first down for the Oakland Raiders, who lead by a score of 7 nothing. Let's check other scores coming in now. Many of the games are complete. In an overtime contest, the Giants in Atlanta. The Giants were leading in that game. They have now come back to tie it, Atlanta has. How about this one? St. Louis upsetting Minnesota, a team that leads the Central Division. Only one loss for the Vikings so far this year. Detroit leading Green Bay in the fourth quarter as the Lions are trying to win their second game this week. How about this one for a surprise? The Saints 10 to nothing in the fourth quarter over Cincinnati. First down, Oakland. Play fake. Wilson being pursued. Wilson gets it away. It's incomplete. Derek Ramsey, 84, the closest receiver, but he was about 10 yards away from the football. Gary Green, 24. Whitney Paul, 53, had the coverage in the area, but it wasn't even close. That particular play, again, uh, Kansas City not getting the pressure on the Oakland quarterback. They decided to blitz their linebackers. If they keep doing it, look for Wilson to dump more to his backs. And not to his tight end and to Bob Chandler, who was just in the game a minute ago, down the middle. So look for those passes to the backs if the linebackers keep blitzing from Kansas City. Second down, 10 on the 36 of the Chiefs. They're down by seven. Oakland scored in four seconds after recovering a fumble on the six. Woodington now the tailback. Woodington playing a block. Woodington inside the 35 and the 33. Morris Bradshaw gave him a little bit of a block right on the sideline. Gary Barbaro, the all-pro safety, number 26, who roams everywhere, made the tackle. He has four interceptions for his career, or rather uh, this year, 35 for his career. He is one of the premier defensive backs in pro football today. Gary Barbaro from Nickel State. He looks almost like a linebacker that needs to gain a little bit of weight, but at 6'4 and 210, he's perfect to play center field for the defense. It is now third down, about eight. The ball at the 33. Jensen and King are the running backs for Oakland. And a whistle stops play for a moment. We have nine minutes left to go in the first quarter. The Raiders leading 
by a score of seven to nothing after recovering a fumble on the Chiefs' six-yard line and Wilson immediately hitting Bradshaw for a touchdown. Wilson is 6'6", 205 pounds. Became the number one quarterback in the last 10 minutes of the first Kansas City game two weeks ago and started last week against Tampa Bay. They reset the clock. That was the delay. Picked off and dropped. Oh, a great opportunity by number 34, Lloyd Burris. He had that ball. He just couldn't hang on to it. He's a rookie from Maryland. Might have gotten a little too excited. Derek Ramsey was the intended receiver. What a young quarterback will do is pick one receiver and work to him regardless. The coverage wasn't that bad. The ball was not well thrown. Burris was in position to almost pick it off. Wilson should not have thrown to Ramsey in that position, but a young quarterback will look and look in one spot only before he learns to pick up his secondary receivers. It is fourth down seven. Ray Guy will punt for Oakland. J.T. Smith will be the deep back. Let's see what guy. He's going to go for the right sideline, it would appear. And that shows you how much we know about it. He goes the other way, inside the 10-yard line on the far side of the field. Let's see where they mark that one. They're going to mark it at the 12 and not inside the 10. Kansas City will take over its own 12 by with uh, 8.48 to go in the first quarter. The Chiefs lead 7-0. Well, George, for the second time, Ray Guy has put the Kansas City Chiefs deep in their own territory to start a, an offensive surge, as they hope. The last time they fumbled the ball and Oakland scored. Well, the Kansas City has got to come out of the hole. A young ball club has got to mature at one time or another. They're down now, and Oakland has had the experience. Let's see if Kansas City can muster it, get going, and get a drive together, which is what they dearly need at this particular time. Bill Kenny at quarterback for Kansas City. Marshall was the intended receiver. The former Missouri star, Monty Jackson, 42, the right cornerback, had the coverage. And for Kansas City fans, Joe Delaney is back in the lineup for the Chiefs. I did not see a flag, but I think there might have been one thrown somewhere. I did not see the flag drop, but I'm not surprised that a defensive pass interference call was logged against Marty Monty Jackson number 42 who covered the play let's look at it well, we're looking at Monty Jackson as we go into the next play nobody saw a flag up here the call by the official was made without one Kenny on the pitch Kenny going to head not hit behind the line knocked out of bounds just about at the line of scrimmage by Rod Martin number 53 the right linebacker a five-year man out of USC James Hadnot from Texas Tech. Martin, you might remember in the Super Bowl, intercepted three passes. And he said, you know, defensive guys really don't uh, get much recognition. Maybe this will give me some. I would say three interceptions in the Super Bowl would. Well, if he really wants to ignore recognition, let him play in the offensive line. Believe me, they're the last people that they start talking about. Second down, 10. Jackson and Hadnot in the setbacks. scrimmage and that's all Matt Millen 55 the inside linebacker joined by the left side inside linebacker Randy McClanahan to make the stop that's uh, Matt Millen who is out of Penn State one of the famous Penn State linebackers they must have had uh, oh what 12 14 of them in the last 10 years out of well Penn State? yeah they call him a linebacker but it's 6 2 and 255 he can play defensive line and he's been doing that for this first quarter he hits up in there hard to fill the right defensive side to help Browning out. The right defensive side of Oakland is where Kansas City is working and where they gained a majority of their yardage the last time Kansas City played and beat Oakland. Oakland's going to the nickel defense on third down and 10. Lester Hayes playing J.T. Smith. The pass is to Smith incomplete on the 30. Lester Hayes came up to play almost at the line of scrimmage with J.T. Smith, and he dogged him all the way down the field. So Kenny will... Make way now for the punting unit led by Bob Grupp. Lester Hayes last year had 13 pass interceptions. So far, one this one. year. One. Yeah, well, a lot of people really aren't throwing at him. He got beat twice last well, week, once by House for a touchdown. To uh, he's having uh, not as good a year as he did last year, but he's still a competitive ball player, and he's looking to help his team climb back out of what he considers to be the seller. Bob 
Grupp did not get a good kick away, so he dropped that ball to the foot. However, Watts at the 30 brings it back. Watts gets to the 40. Hendricks trying to help him out a little bit. Hendricks almost grabbed him and threw him about the last two or three yards at the 44. Somebody has to tell Ted that's a little bit illegal, but when you get down there in a position and set up to get a block, sometimes your runners will get into you, and as a result, you don't get exactly what you need in terms of helping him run. Right back after this message. Blocker's coming back to try to help. Here he makes it through two Kansas City defenders, and Ted Hendricks comes from the right side of your picture trying to help. Did not expect Watts to get through, and as a result, helps him any way he can. Throws him out of bounds for Kansas City. At the 44, Mark Wilson and company. Kenny King, the former Oklahoma star, across the 45 to about the 48-yard line. Gary Spaney, also a big eight star out of Kansas State, number 59, the inside linebacker for Kansas City. And Don Perry, 61, the nose tackle, make the stop for the Chiefs. The ball at the 48-yard line after a gain of three, second down, seven. Once again, Oakland making no bones about it, working Lindstrom and Paul. Paul was playing the other linebacker spot, was beat out by Jackson, as a result went to the left side, and Oakland is working that side. Derek Jensen pounds his way across the midfield stripe to the 49-yard line of the Chiefs. And now it'll be a third down and about two coming up. Dave Lindstrom, 71, the defensive left end, makes the stop. Third and three. You know, Bell, number 99, is working against Art Shell. They're not running at him so much. He's keeping good lateral position up on the line of scrimmage. Art with a great block on him, takes it down that side, but Bell not getting blown out holding his ground, allowing pursuit to get to the runner. Branch to the left, Brad Shaw to the right. Wilson, and it is incomplete out of bounds. He is now three out of eight for 36 yards and one touchdown. And it'll bring up fourth down and three for the Oakland Raiders. Brad Shaw, the intended receiver. So Mark Wilson, the second year man from BYU, so-so here in the first half. In this first period, actually, we have 6.23 to go in the first quarter. But it is Wilson's job. Going back deep is J.T. Smith for the Kansas City Chiefs to take the Ray Guy punt. Guy on his third punt of the day. This will be his longest one. Todd Christensen is in there for the long snap for the Oakland Raiders. Guy pops it toward the sideline. And gets a great roll, but it did go out of bounds. It looked like it looked like the ball uh, did not go out of bounds, but the official right there on the sideline saw it very, very close. And the ball is out of bounds inside the 15 to the 14. And with 6.16 to go in the first quarter, the Raiders have a 7 0 lead. New Backwoods Smokes just hit town. Looking wild, but tasting mild. New Backwoods Smokes. How can anything Sports World coming up next Saturday right here on NBC. Johnny Bumpus, well, we all followed him through his Golden Gloves career. Now it's Kansas City's football at the 14-yard line. The Chiefs are down by seven. Had not the fullback bangs his way to about the 18. Johnny Robinson, 68, the nose tackle. Matt Millen, 55, the linebacker, stopped the play for the silver and black who are three and four for the year, and George Coons, uh, you know, it's almost like a repeat of last year by Oakland. Nobody thought they were going anywhere. They were off to a slow start, and all of a sudden they won 13 out of 15 and were in the Super Bowl. Well, you know, you just can't count Oakland out. They do it some way or another. They do it. That's the history of the franchise. 16 winning seasons in a row. They just keep doing it when people think they're out. The rookie from Northwest Louisiana. Talk about a guy who can fly. Matt Millen and Rod Martin, the linebackers on the right side, make the tackle. Joe Delaney is second only to Earl Campbell in rushing in the AFC. Coming into this game, Campbell 784 yards, Delaney 567. And we have a Kansas City Chief down. Matt Herkenhoff, I believe, uh, the left tackle, who has had a had a problem with a left knee. I don't know if it's a left knee this time or not. Well, he had uh, knee surgery last year. I certainly hope uh, it isn't another knee problem. Matt uh, worked very hard coming into camp this year with the rookies trying to get ready for this. You can see him talking to the trainers. Now he's getting up. He looks like he's all right. 
taking his time getting off the field. Here are the scores, Merle. Buffalo a winner with one second left. Nine to seven. Mickemeyer, the field goal. And New England and Washington. Washington a winner by two. Cleveland over Baltimore. Big day for Brian Sipe. And Philadelphia beating Tampa Bay. New York Giants and Atlanta in overtime. St. Louis, an upset over Minnesota. And Detroit, a win over Green Bay as the Packers continue to have lots and lots of problems. Detroit, a winner Monday night, scoring 48 points against the Chicago Bears. Bill Kenny at quarterback. He is 6'4", 210 pounds. Third and four from the 20. Trying to get a block of the corner, and it's not there. Covering the play, Rod Martin, the outside linebacker. He actually lost a couple of yards. So Oakland has really been after Joe Delaney. They're keying on him. You know, older pros, sometimes people say they don't have that attitude anymore. Here you see Ted Hendricks pursuing from the backside of a play. As he gets ready and in position, it goes down. You can see he's happy to have that thing stop. Wants his Oakland team to get back on the track. He and John Matuzak, number 72, reading their defensive cohorts, saying we got to do it again. It is Bob Drupp for his third punt, and Watts is deep for Oakland. Watts, a great sprinter out of Texas Tech. Let's see what he can do with the ball from his own 40. Not much. The special teams of Kansas City covering well at the 43-yard line. Ted Watts with a four-yard. A 42-yard punt, a three-yard return, first and we have 4:16 to go in the first quarter in Oakland, and the Raiders are leading the Chiefs by seven to nothing. Punt was furnished as a public service by the National Football League. Chester Willis is now in as a running back for the Oakland Raiders. First down on the Raider 43. Mark Wilson at quarterback. It is Chester Willis being nailed at the 40-yard line for a loss of three by Ken Kramer, number 91, the nose tackle, out of Ball State. And we thank you very much for the reception here. Now let's go to New York for an update. All right, Merle Harmon in Atlanta. The Giants have just upset the Falcons. Joe Danello, 540 left in the overtime, makes good from 40 yards out, and the Giants go to 5-3, and three, beating the 4-4 four and four Falcons, 27-24. to 24. Merle? My goodness, Brian, but we've got some crazy scores today. Here's Wilson. And Wilson to the near side. It is caught. And he is in bounds. That is Arthur Whittington on the 45-yard line of Kansas City. And a first down for the Oakland Raiders. Whitney Paul, the left linebacker, had the coverage on the play. And it's a first down for Oakland. Just a great catch by Whittington. You see, once again, the quarterback... Kansas City blitzing. They're sending in the uh, right linebacker now. Wilson taking his time, looking for that secondary receiver. He sees Whittington on the side, barely inbounds, keeps his feet in, goes out with a first down. A gain of 15. First down on the 45. This is Willis hit behind the line, almost got back to the line of scrimmage by Gary Spaney, the linebacker, coming from the right side. Spaney is one of the really great ones in the National Football League. Leads the Chiefs in tackles and defensive points. Four-year man out of Kansas State. And he's a heady ball player, too, Merle. Spaney saw the uh, saw Marsh, number Second 60, pulling the left man. guard, filled that hole, and came in behind and made the tackle from behind. How about this score? The Chicago Bears over San Diego, 7-0, and the Chargers are the NFL's top scoring team, averaging more than 33 points a game. Second down. The draw. Jensen at the 42 of Kansas City. Mike Bell, number 99 from Colorado Jerry State Jensen. makes the stop. You know, the Chiefs' defense has been coming up with the big plays all year. I just wonder how good this Kansas City defense would be if Bell and Lindstrom, or rather, uh, uh, Bell and uh, Still, could get in the lineup at the same time. Well, Lindstrom's not playing that badly, Pearl, but again, Art Still is a team leader. He's a ball player with a lot of class. Gives these guys a lift when he's in there. Bell is coming on. They have a bookend pair of ends. People say in a few years that Bell will be almost as good as Steele, if not as good. Kansas City in a nickel defense on third down seven. Look at the time that Wilson has. He hits his man in the 31. Derek Ramsey, number 84, the tight end. Charles Jackson, the linebacker, was right there to tag him. But it's a gain of 11 and a first down. So Mark Wilson, who is getting all kinds of time to throw that football, 
has a first down at the Kansas City 31, and Oakland leads it 7 to nothing. You made a, a great point right there with all kinds of time, Earl. The offensive line of Oakland is giving Wilson a lot of time. Kansas City, again, consistently to this point now, blitzing a backer. The offensive line picking it up. The receiver's coming back to make the catches. Hand off to Derek Jensen. Jensen around the left side, inside the 30 to the 28, possibly the 27. And Gary Spaney, number 59, gathered them in after a short game. Spaney, a very busy man this afternoon. He's busy about every ball. And it's second and six coming up. Barbaro over here taking a look at what a free safety does is play center field. When he sees that run developing, he's got to get up and get in the middle of a tackle. Here he watches as a couple of his friends get there first. Barbaro ready to help out in case he's needed. Filling is a free safety ship. Raiders on the march with a 7-0 lead in the first quarter. Again, Wilson with too much time. Throws it over the middle intended for Morris Bradshaw. The pass is incomplete. Intended so that stops Morris the Bradshaw. clock with a minute six seconds left to go in the first quarter. Eric Harris, 44, and Whitney Paul, 53, had the coverage as Wilson drilled that ball. And it is third down for the Oakland Raiders. Third down and seven. You know, he had more time there, Merle, than I think he did in the last couple of passes. And, and possibly just couldn't believe it. Went out there, tried to lead his man, and, and just effectively overthrew him. Bell, Kramer, and Lindstrom up front right now. Bob Chandler in the ball game for the Oakland Raiders. Whittington and Jensen are the setbacks. Five decent defensive backs for the Chiefs. And badly thrown to Derek Ramsey, the tight end. Apparently something Pass broke out of the pattern. Lloyd Derek Burris, Ramsey. 34, the strong safety, the rookie from Maryland. Chris had the coverage, and it's fourth down coming up for the Oakland Raiders. You know, at that time, it was man-on-man -man coverage in the secondary. The Chiefs shot all four linebackers and tried to get to Wilson. It's a good chance to see what your receivers can do man-on-man -man against uh, the defensive secondary of Kansas City. Kansas City's defensive secondary giving good coverage to the this Chiefs. Will be a and as a result, yard the attempt. pass going incomplete. Chris Barr will try a 45-yard field goal attempt, and Bob Chandler is holding for him. Chandler, who had his spleen removed, is wearing a flak jacket. Barr's kick has the distance. It is off to the right. And so the Chiefs will take over the football at the line of scrimmage, and Matt Barr is now 4 out of 10 this year in the field goal department. I beg your pardon, uh, Chris Barr. Matt and Chris, the Barr family, and of course their father is their coach at uh, Penn State. Next Sunday, join host Bryant Gumble for NFL 81. All the highlight scores and late breaking news from all the games. Then regional NFL action featuring two crucial AFC division games, Houston against Cincinnati. Kansas City will be at San Diego, so check your local listings for the game and time in your area next Sunday on NFL 81. Kansas City with its fifth possession. Kenny with some time to throw. He's going for Henry Marshall. Marshall makes his move all the way down to the 30-yard line. He might be inside the 30, unless he stepped out of bounds. Lester Hayes had the coverage. Burgess Owens is back there, and the ball will be put down at the 29-yard line of the Oakland Raiders, a 44-yard pickup. Okay, Kenny stepping back, looking downfield after a play fake. His back's picking up the blitzers, which gives him time. Henry Marshall on a crossing pattern gets a great pass. That's a super pass right in the spot. Not bad protection, not bad coverage, but again, Marshall catching it, going downfield with a saving tackle by two covering defensive backs. Big play for Kansas City, and that's what they're consistently getting from their offense now. Marshall had a 64-yard touchdown pass thrown to him by Kenny last week. Joe Delaney, look at this little guy pound his way to the 25-yard line. He's 5'10", 184, the rookie from Northwest Louisiana. He is tackled by Johnny Robinson, and we've come to the end of the first quarter. After a five-yard pickup, when we open the second quarter, it'll be second down and five, and the Raiders lead 7-0. Oh, in the second quarter here in Oakland, Merle Herman and George Goodens with you. Here are the stats for the first quarter. You know, the Raiders have given up only one touchdown and nine points in any first quarter this year. Well, they certainly helped their record with this first quarter. First down, Kansas City on the Raider 25. Check that, second down. And it's Joe Delaney down around the 22. He got about two, possibly three, Matt Millen and Johnny Robinson. The linebacker and the nose tackle stopped the play. It's like there's a little uh, 
little extracurricular activity going on. It looks down like there. Millen is having a good time right now. Again, Millen filling that linebacker right in the hole. Millen's got a read on somebody in the offensive line, and he's filling up there just a split second before the snap comes. Oakland is paying Kansas City a compliment when uh, when Millen does that. He's, you see Delaney here in some of his stats. They're saying that we've got to send another man up there to stop your rushing game. And that's what they're trying to do. On third down three, the blitz is on. Rod Martin coming from the outside. Nails Bill Kitty for a long loss back to the 33-yard line. So Martin was coming from the blind side. Kenny didn't have time to set up at all. And the ball is put down on the 32. Yeah, this is what a quarterback fears the most. Sitting down there if you're right-handed with your back to a rushing guy, rushing man coming in from your backside. Rod Martin, number 53, 62, 215, a swift linebacker and a big play man, just made another big play. From a third down three, the Chiefs go to a fourth down and 13, a loss of 10. Here is what's happening, uh, what has happened in quarterback sacks. And Oakland, as you see, is right up there, number one. It'll be a 50-yard field goal attempt now by Nick Lowry. And he is just a little bit short. Lowry is now one out of five in the 50-plus category. He just missed on that one. So we have a timeout in Oakland with 13.41 to go in the first half. The Raiders lead the Chiefs by a score of 7 to nothing. 41 seconds left to play in the first half, and the Oakland Raiders have the football again at their own 32-yard line. Steve Sylvester comes up over the ball. The guards are Kurt Marsh, Mickey Marvin. The tackles are Chell, Henry Lawrence, the tight end, Derek Ramsey, 84. And the running back, the tailback, is Kenny King, who just took the handoff. King. Moved out across the 35-yard line for a four-yard gain. It'll be second and six. And Dino Mangiero, uh, Mangiero, number 74. Dave Lindstrom, number 71, in on the stop. It'll be second down six for the Oakland Raiders. Cliff Branch, number 21, splits wide to the left. Going to the right is Morris Bradshaw, number 81. Seven to nothing Oakland in the second quarter. Mark Wilson at quarterback. Jensen. And Jensen stopped shy of the 40 at the 39 by Charles Jackson, the right outside linebacker, and Lloyd Burris, the rookie strong safety from the University of Maryland. Not too much on that one. Third down and three. You know, Oakland is great as we look at Archell, number 78 here. Oakland is great at sizing up personnel and going for mismatches. Number 74, Dino Mangiero from Kansas City is now on our shell. Mangiero replacing Mike Bell for a while. Oakland seeing that going right to Shell's block on Mangiero to see if they can get some yards. Third down three. Wilson going for the bomb for Branch. Inside the 10 at the eight yard line. And Gary Barbaro were back there. And you saw Branch haul it in for 53 yards. Mark Wilson doing what he did at BYU here in Oakland, throwing the ball. Cliff Branch, some people ask if Branch has lost a step. He has two on Eric Harris, number 44, a young defensive back. Barbaro has to watch as Branch takes the ball out of ball, out of bounds in his frustration, trying to get in, throws it, the ball goes in the stands. First down and goal in the eighth for the Oakland Raiders, who lead by seven to nothing. Bradshaw to the right, Branch to the left. Wilson, who broke 11 records at BYU, goes to Kenny King, and King is down at about the six-yard line. Mike Bell cut his feet out from under him. It'll be second down and goal to go. Once again, Coach Levy seeing that Oakland's getting down on the goal line situations, putting in his people who can best stop the run. Every time Oakland uh, tries to throw the ball down in here, their receivers don't have the yardage to work with in the end zone. As a result, they may try another running play before they go to the pass down this close. And the Chiefs are number one in the AFC against the run. The draw, King at the five, King at about the three, third down goal to go. Barbaro came up there. Dave Lindstrom, 71, Don Perry, 61, and Barbaro, 26. Third and three coming up. Wilson's got to be thinking pass. It's got to be a little tight for his receivers. So look for those out patterns and those little short patterns on slants in over the middle. If Wilson can hit one of those, Oakland can score. If not, they'll try the field goal. And Oakland goes to three tight ends. Ramsey, Chester, and Christensen. Christensen's got great hands for a tight end. Number 46. This is Christensen setting on the wing to the left. Well, they 
it. Christensen on the corner left for blocking, and Wilson, if you want to call it a naked reverse, okay, but he went out there unmolested. He set, uh, Wilson set the whole flow of his team to the left side, running at Bell, then decided he'd take the ball in a rollout. As we get the replay here, Wilson uh, running out the field, the fan support. Again, everything going left. He comes out naked. He has a two-way option here. Raven Chester, number 88, is out of the picture. Wilson knows he can either run or pass. When he sees that Chester is covered, all he has to do is fake out the linebacker. He's in for the score. And that's his first touchdown on the run as a pro. As Chris Carr adds the extra point, we have 11 minutes and nine seconds to go in the first half. And the Oakland Raiders, who were ruled a three-point favorite in this game, have a 14-0 lead. Finally gets the title shot, fighting Willie Rodriguez for the USBA Junior Waterweight Crown next Saturday on NBC Sports World at 4 o'clock. That one right out of the end zone as Barr popped it pretty good. So Kansas City is getting ready now for, let's see, this, they, they're they going for their sixth possession. And here is where they have uh, had to start from. That last drive, 68 yards, six plays, and Wilson's three-yard run for the touchdown. Kansas City has uh, gone on offense on its own seven-yard line, 35, 12, 14, 27, and 20. Not exactly good field position. No, no. Things have got to change for them a little later. We made a point earlier, too, Merle, when you talk about field position, you always talk about the field, too. Oakland has allowed this grass to grow a little longer. They've sought it in the infield. Kansas City hasn't played a regular season game on natural grass thus far this year. And maybe that has a little bit to do with the fact that their offense isn't getting on track. Had not for one at the 21, Rod Martin making the tackle, and Jim Plunkett is sitting on the sideline, or standing on the sideline. Last year, Jim Plunkett was a comeback player of the year. He, uh, I don't know, when Pastorini went out, Plunkett came in. He started the last 11 games and all but four of the postseason games and led Oakland to a 13 and two mark from there on in was the MVP Super Bowl uh, in the Super Bowl I tell you it's an unbelievable story the way things have gone backwards for him and an unbelievable overthrow there to JT Smith by Bill Kenny who is a very powerful arm Otis McKinney 23 and Lester Hayes 37 from the defensive secondary on the coverage so Bill Kenny is now one for four for 44 yards. He's been sacked for a 10-yard loss. And by the way, the Chiefs did not give up a single sack to the Denver Broncos last week, but they nailed Craig Morton six times. Third down nine for Kansas City. Five defensive backs on the field now for the Oakland Raiders. With Osteen, Jackson, Hayes, McKinney, and Owens. Smith to the right, Marshall to the left. Had not goes in motion. Blitz on by Hendricks, and he had to unload the ball. He tried to get it to Delaney, but Big Ted Hendricks was coming at 6-7 frame. He's got a right to grin, I guess, huh? Uh, Ted's always grinning. We, uh, we came in the league, I think, the same year. Ted really enjoys a game of football. When you ask him when he's going to retire, his usual comment is when they take the uniform off my back. He enjoys it that much. He's been a great player. Credit him with the incompleted pass because when you're, what, 6-7 running upfield, it's hard for that quarterback to see the receiver he's trying to throw to. Hendricks blocked that field goal by Tampa Bay with eight seconds left last week. Time of possession, you can see the Raiders have the advantage. Grupp hangs it a mile high for Ted Watts. Fair catch in the 44. We have 10-16 to go in the first half after that 35-yard kick, and the clock is stopped, and the Oakland Raiders have the Kansas City now the lineup for the Oakland Raiders. He lost his job a couple of weeks ago to Derek Ramsey, all pro, 12 years out of Morgan State. First down at the 44, and Willis gets nailed on the 45 by Mike Bell. So a yard pickup, and that's all. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. You're watching WDAF TV4, Kansas City. Merle Herman and George Coons with you in Oakland, California. The Raiders scored in the first quarter after Kansas City fumbled on the six, on its own six. Wilson threw to Bradshaw for a touchdown, and Wilson kept a... 68-yard drive a moment ago with a running touchdown. That was intended for Willis coming out of the backfield and a little bit too high for him. Mark Wilson at 6'6 can certainly has no trouble spotting his receivers. 
No, that's, that's not one of his problems, but as a young ball player in the second start, he still has that edginess that he needs to tone down somewhat. You saw an errant pass as receiver wide open. He just didn't get it to him. A young ball player is going to make mistakes like that. Coach Flores knows it, and he's got to bear with it if he wants Wilson to mature in the manner I'm sure he does. Now the Chiefs secondary could be tested because Branch, Bradshaw, and Chandler, three wide receivers are in for Oakland, third down nine. They show the blitz. Wilson with too much time gets hit as he throws that football. It was incomplete intended for Bob Chandler. Chandler is wearing a black jacket. He missed seven weeks. He had a spleen removed. And Chandler said, I just, I know I'll be all right after I take that first hit. New Orleans still winning over Cincinnati in what could be a king size upset if New Orleans holds the lead. Cincinnati leading the AFC Central. It is now fourth down and nine, and Ray Guy is in to kick it away to J.T. Smith. J.T., a five-year veteran from North Texas State, and Ray Guy with the strongest leg and also the strongest arm on this Oakland really? football team. Really, Ray can throw the ball. He's a 13 quarterback for the Oakland Raiders. This is really the first chance this game he's had a chance to uh, stretch his leg out, see how far he can kick it. All right, let's see what he can do about airing it out. Chiefs go over the block, don't get it. J.T. has the 15. A 41-yard kick, Ted Watts downfield to make the tackle. So we've gone to the 9.26 mark to play in the first half. The Raiders on a touchdown pass by Wilson and a three-yard run by Wilson lead it. The Raiders are leading the Kansas City Chiefs by a score of 14 to nothing. And for those fans who joined us after the uh, Buffalo game, the Buffalo-Denver game, George, you made a comment about the first time that the Chiefs have been playing on grass and also the fact that this field has been sodded as the Chiefs put the ball in play at their own 21-yard line. We'll pick up on that in a moment. This is Joe Delaney, the rookie, being hit behind the line by Dave Browning, number 73. So it's been a tough afternoon so far for Joe Delaney, who's carried the ball seven times and picked up seven yards net now. New Orleans has beaten Cincinnati in a major upset. So Cincinnati is now five and three, and Dallas leads Miami by a single point. The Jets and Seattle are scoreless. The Jets have been coming on strong, and the Bears are still holding on to a lead over San Diego. They're in the second quarter. The loss was three, second and 13. Flag down. Kenny to the near side, to J.T. Smith. J.T. is down immediately at the 34. Lester Hayes covering him. If the play stands, it'll be good enough for a first down. San Francisco uh, leading the Rams and a moment ago they made the announcement here at the Oakland Coliseum and that drew a reaction. Kenny that time this last pass was a good pass a well run pattern looked at his primary receiver Hayes didn't have bad coverage but the pass was perfect for a first down and a gain of 16 yards a penalty against Oakland. So the Chiefs take the play. John Matuzak out of Oak Creek, Wisconsin, a Milwaukee suburb, was offside on the play. Matuzak is 6'8", 285 pounds. Would you believe in this area? He's a folk hero, too. At 6'8", 285, he could be a legend if he wanted to. He can be anything he wants to be at 6'8". First down, Kansas City. Jack Rudney over the ball. Kenny has some time to throw to the middle, and it's all Intercepted by Lester Hayes. In fact, he should have had it. Al Dixon, 84, the tight end, was the target. We were just talking about John Matuzak at 6'8", 285. Here you see him. One of John's strong suits is not pass rushing, but it is punishing offensive blockers. Here you see a lean and a push and a shove. That's what Matuzak does best. He's what you call a plugger, but he's so big at plugging that he takes up two spots and allows Hendricks, you see him in the background, to rush from the outside, not have to worry about that middle. Kenny on second and ten. Incomplete. Al Dixon, the tight end, hit him in the hands, and he couldn't hang on to it. Ted Hendricks was right there all over him. Ted Hendricks. You know, Hendricks and, and Matuzak work well together as a team, as you see Ted walking back there. Hendricks can drop back and with six foot seven. You've got to get a pass in there perfectly for him, uh, for the receiver to catch it. He's uh, definitely a leader in that defensive unit as, a, as the folks rally around him. Sort of a quiet guy in the field, but one to be reckoned with both, both in pass coverage 
and with a rush on a passing situation. Kansas City is 0-5 in third down conversions. They have a third and 10 at their own 35, and Oakland leading by a score of 14 to nothing. Three wide receivers in. Stan Rome splits wide to the left. Marshall is in there. J.T. Smith is in. Third down. Over through. It's intercepted. Picked off by number 35, Dwayne Osteen of the Oakland Raiders. Comes back to the near side. Actually going backward and tried to pick up a block and some running room. And is down in the 48-yard line of Kansas City. Dwayne Osteen getting his first interception of the year. Well, that's got to be big for Dwayne. He lost his job to Monty Jackson a couple of weeks ago. Comes back in. Oakland had nine people on the line of scrimmage hoping to stop Kansas City. Put their defensive backs in a bind with some one-on-one -on -one coverage, yet they came up with a big play. Now Oakland has a ball on the Kansas City 48-yard line. Kansas City beat Oakland two weeks ago, 27 to nothing, holding the Oakland offense to a mere 230 yards. Now it is Van Egan in the ball game for the first time as Wilson goes for the ball, man. Is he throwing the ball? Something went wrong in the pattern somewhere. Bob Chandler had cut to the sideline at about the 30, and Wilson threw that ball all the way down to the 10. That's a miscue. Chandler, uh, again, a, a receiver who's been out for seven weeks, coming back in for the first time. We see Mark Wilson a little bit upset with himself, misread the pattern, expected Chandler to do something a little different as Bradshaw brings a play in for him. But those miscues will happen when a young quarterback and a receiver who's been out for a while come back to their, uh, well, first and second game respectively. Kansas City trailing 14 to nothing. The ball in the KC 48, second and 10 for the Raiders. Five defensive backs for Kansas City. But the ball goes to Kenny King. King goes to the 43-yard line for a gain of five. It'll be third down five. Charles Jackson, 51, over there on the tackle. As you look at uh, Whitney Paul, who had a 47-yard touchdown on a fumble recovery against Denver last week. Third down five for the Oakland Raiders. In the game two weeks ago, Kansas City ran for 457 yards against the Raider defense, and Joe Delaney had 106. Today, he has been held to seven yards. Third and five for Oakland. Incomplete. Hitting Raymond Chester right in the hands, and he took a pop immediately from... Number 34, the rookie Lloyd Burris. It is fourth down and five for Oakland on the 43-yard line. And Ray Guy and the punting unit comes on the field for the Oakland Raiders. The Raiders lead it by 14 to nothing. We have 7.35 to go in the first half. Guy with a 47.1 punting average. His longest is 69 yards, and that tops the AFC this year. J.T. Smith will go back for Kansas City. No run back on this one. Let's see where they line the ball up. And it will be marked on the 14-yard line of the Chiefs, who just have not been able to get any kind of a good start at an offense. Oakland leading by 14 to nothing. Mark Wilson throwing to... Bradshaw for a six-yard touchdown pass in the first quarter to make it 7 to nothing, And then Wilson kept a 68-yard drive with a three-yard naked reverse around his own right end to make it 14 to nothing here in the second quarter. Inside their 20-yard line every time he's punt. And they haven't had that many big plays. They got one this last series. But they haven't had that many big plays to get him on the scoreboard. Delaney having a hard time running. The really king on Delaney is Otis McKinney, number 23, who has replaced Mike Davis, who went down with an injury a few weeks ago. McKinney making the tackle. Second down, 10, as Marv Levy is about ready to send in a play with uh, Stan Rome. If Rome does come in, and I don't believe he is going to come in at this stage. Second down, 10 for the Chiefs. Rudney at center. Brad Buddy, 66. Tom Condon, 65 of the guards. Matt, Hurt, uh, Matt Herkenhoff is back in our left tackle. Charlie Getty is the uh, right tackle for Kansas City. A quick pop over the middle incomplete. Al Dixon, the tight end. And things are not going right at all for Kansas City. And the Chicago Bears, who were hammered last Monday night by the Detroit Lions, 
have a seven point lead over the San Diego Chargers for the highest scoring team in the NFL. Dallas, eight better than Miami in the second quarter. Miami has defeated the NFC in games more than any other AFC team, and Dallas has returned the favor as an NFC team over the AFC. Five defensive backs on the field now. Third down, 10. Fake the draw. Joe Delaney was the was the man in the area. Willie Jones had the quarterback under control, and I believe grounding is going to be ruled. Well, it was definitely grounding. There was no way, nothing he could do. Delaney wasn't even looking at him when he threw the ball. He was in the vicinity, and that's what Kansas City is arguing now. Look, my receiver was in the vicinity. That was a bad pass. All in all, the official's ruling is that it was an attempted dump off just to get rid of the ball before he was tackled. Jones with great pressure on Kenny. Once again. Loss of down and playing the ball at the position in which the pass was thrown. Once again, the pressure coming from the left side of your screen on a play fake. Nobody picks up Jones as he comes right in on Kenny. Kenny trying to get rid of the ball. Again, Delaney not even looking for it that soon. And as a result, the call, you see the yellow flag, the call intentional grounding. Loss of down at the point at which the pass was thrown. Bob Grupp will kick it to Ted Watts. Grupp has gone from a three-step kicker to a two-step kicker. I don't think there's any way he can take three steps from where he is right now. They're going to try to rush it. Here they come. He got it out of there somehow. But it takes an Oakland bounce. Look at that ball go back the other way. And it is finally down. We've got something going on back at the goal line, however. As tempers are flaring a 26-yard punt, the ball will be down on the 21-yard line of Kansas City. Herb Christopher there to down the ball. Rupp doesn't have much room to maneuver. You'll see the people coming in quickly as he tries to get rid of it. That Oakland wall, everybody, including number 75, Howard Long, trying to get in there to block it. Their, re their return is not set up because no matter where they get the ball, it'll be close to the goal line of Kansas City. As a result, they can gamble on the block and take that risk. Let's see if Wilson tries to get it all. He does not. He goes to Kenny King. Flag down as King goes to the 16. The ball carrier was Kenny King. Mike Bell, number 99, over there to help out on the tackle. Right guard, number 30. Mickey Marvin. Illegally in motion. I believe he said right guard. Mark Van Egan. Let's see what Bob Frederick says. Number 65 and number 30 in the offense. Well, we had Mickey Marvin, number 65, and Mark Van Egan, number 30, both guilty. Van Egan is the all-time leading rusher. He has an injured hamstring. He's missed three or four ball games. And he's the heart and soul of the running game of Oakland. First and 15 on the 26th. Wilson gets whacked pretty good as he gets that ball going forward. Bell, number 99, with a good pass rush. Whitney Paul, 53, the linebacker, coming from the left side to put the heat on Mark Wilson who uh, really plays with a lot of poise, I think, George. He really does. You know, it's, he does play with poise. He waits in the pocket. He's a classic drop-back passer. It's a credit, and that was not the fall of the Oakland offensive line. It's to the Oakland offensive line credit that they're giving him as much time as he is. And you're seeing good pass defense on the part of the Kansas City secondary, which uh, doesn't allow uh, Wilson to throw that pass as quickly as he'd like. Three wide receivers out for the Raiders. Chandler was the intended receiver. He stumbled down around the three-yard line. It'll be third down and 15 coming up for the Raiders. Mark Wilson set about all the records anybody could set in his collegiate career at BYU. 11 in CAA marks. He had 29 touchdown passes his senior year as he directed the Cougars to an 11-0 record. He had seven games at 300 or more yards in his senior year. Right now, he's guiding the Oakland Raiders. He led them to a victory last week over Tampa Bay. And right now, the Raiders have a 14 to nothing lead over Kansas City with 6.18 to go in the first half. Three wide receivers out for the Raiders. Wilson with time again. Where are the receivers? They are not over. They are now. And that may be ruled a catch and a fumble. 
fumble. Let's see if it is. I believe it is. Kansas City's football on the 20-yard line. Bob Chandler got hit, dropped the football. Deron Cherry, number 20, put the hit on him, and Kansas City recovers the football. Again, good pass protection. Wilson, you see it from his view. He's looking. He's looking at his primary receiver. He'll turn right. Sees Chandler coming back. Chandler catching the ball. The ruling is that you've got to have both feet land and have the ball in a football position. He does. As a result, it's ruled a fumble. Kansas City has the ball, has recovered. Lord Lloyd Burris recovering the fumble, giving Kansas City possession. So D-Ron makes the big hit, and Kansas City has the ball at its own 20. 6.08 to go in the first half. Play action. Delaney out there, incomplete. If they can get the football to Joe Delaney, you're going to see a circus. Burgess Owens, number 44, had the coverage on Delaney, who was a wide receiver in college. Delaney, one of the most exciting players in the NFL this year. In his rookie season, he's the second leading ground gainer in the AFC to none other than uh, Earl Campbell down in Houston. In the top of the second inning, in the World Series in Los Angeles, the Yankees lead one to nothing. And are batting. Kenny on second and ten. Kenny over the middle. Has his man at the 27-yard line. Ted Hendricks pulling the receiver down. Henry Marshall. Marshall, the six-year veteran from uh, Missouri who had 106 yards in the air two weeks ago against the Oakland Raiders as the Chiefs won that ball game by 27 to nothing. Kansas City is 5-2 and two for the year, having beaten Pittsburgh and Tampa, lost to San Diego, beat Seattle, lost to New England, then beat Oakland and Denver coming into this one. Willie Scott is now in at tight end for Kansas City on third down and two. in motion. How about this? Kenny, no place to go. Ronnie didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. The old fleet flicker didn't work. Johnny Robinson, 68. Ted Hendricks, 83. Had it all figured out. You know, if things aren't going exactly right, sometimes you go to a bag of trips. tricks. Here, Delaney taking the handoff, immediately tossing it back. A little more of a delay there would probably have helped to fool the Oakland sec a secondary in front line, but it wasn't that much of a delay. Oakland wasn't that fooled. As a result, Kenny does not get the first down, gets taken out two yards short, and Grupp has another chance to increase his punting average. Grupp will kick it away to Ted Watts, the sprinter from Texas Tech. Number one draft choice for the Oakland Raiders. Grupp did not get a good kick away. Shanked it off the right side on the open 46-yard line. So we have 4.32 to go in the first half, and the Raiders lead it by a 14 nothing score after a 28-yard kick by Bob Grupp, who is not having a good year this year. Well, we followed boxer Johnny Bumpus through his days as an amateur in the National Golden Gloves and the Olympic Trials. Now, as a young pro, he gets a title shot as he fights Willie Rodriguez for the USBA Junior Welterweight Crown next Saturday on NBC Sports World at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Plus, aerial athletes test their skills in the tricky winds of the Sierra Nevadas in the National Hang Gliding Championships. That's all next Saturday on NBC Sports World. And here come the Raiders with a running game. And Derek Jensen across midfield to the 48-yard line of Kansas City, getting six yards on the play before Jerry Blanton, 57, and Charles Jackson, 51. The linebackers can stop him. Jackson, a four-year veteran from Washington, went to Canada earlier this year. He, Jackson is one of those guys that he always wants to kind of tests the waters, so to speak, somewhere else, and he always winds up playing for Kansas City. Second and four. Play action. Wilson. Bradshaw. Found on the 32-yard line of Kansas City by Lloyd Burris, the strong safety. Game of 16. That was a well-set-up pattern. Number 21 on the left side, Chris, Chris Branch clearing out. Mark Wilson with a little play fake here looking at Branch at first, and then a drag pattern by the tight end and slightly behind him by Bradshaw. There you see the opening. Three people in the area, but two clearing out for Bradshaw. Catches the ball, takes it down for the 16-yard game. First down on the 32 of Kansas City. 3.26 to go in the first half. Oakland ahead by 14. 
Derek Jensen, the fullback, bangs his way to the 28. Don Parrish, number 61, the nose tackle, the four-year veteran from Pittsburgh, and Whitney Paul out of the University of Colorado make the stop for the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs went into this game today in a three-way tie with San Diego, Denver, and Denver for first place in the Western Division as Gary Spaney calls the defensive set. Denver upset today. I don't know if it's an upset or not. Buffalo on a field goal by Nick Mickemeyer with one second left beat the Broncos 9-7. to seven. Kenny King. King chased out of bounds. Mickey Marvin pulling to lead the play. Eric Harris, 44, the right cornerback. Finally got him out of bounds. Inside the 25, the clock is stopped with 2.47 to go in the first half. They'll mark the ball at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs, as you can see on our graphic, second against the rush. Detroit is first. And Detroit a winner over Green Bay today. So there's Lions with Eric Hipple, their young quarterback from Utah State, starting to make a bit of a move in the Central Division of the NFC. Third down three for Oakland. Wilson backpedaling time again. It's Kenny King out of the backfield. A first down at the 19 of Kansas City. Jerry Blanton and Charles Jackson, the linebackers, make the tackle. So it's a first down for the Raiders on the 19-yard line. Short game, but enough to keep possession. Mark Wilson getting plenty of time once again. His wide receivers clearing out deep, sending the defensive secondary deep, allowing the backs of Oakland to be covered by the linebackers of Kansas City and betting that Kenny King can outrun Charles Jackson. King did, got the pass, and took it down for another first. Wilson, let's see if he'll try to get it all. He wants it all. He's got branch of the end zone incomplete. The coverage by Gary Green, who's one of the league's best in the opinion of the Kansas City Chiefs, the five-year veteran from Baylor, the number one draft choice in 1977. The clock is stopped with 2.03 to go in the first half. Oakland ahead by 14. Wilson is now 9 for 23, 147 yards and one touchdown. And he scored the other touchdown in the second quarter on a three-yard run on a roll to the right. He sent the flow to the left and pulled the old naked reverse, if you will, to the right side. Here's Branch going into the slot right with Bradshaw White and Kansas City has five defensive backs. Here Safety comes the blitz. blitz. And it works. Arthur Whittington hit by Gary Barbaro coming on the blitz from his safety spot. And Barbaro at 6'4 and 2'10 didn't have any trouble putting Whittington on the ground. So it's third down after the loss, third down and 13. You know, Barbaro, as we see him here blitzing from a safety position. Here we are in Oakland, score 14 to nothing. Oakland over the Chiefs. We'll be right back after this message. After being shut out three games in a row, they came back to beat Tampa Bay last week. They lead the Chiefs 14 to nothing. We have two minutes to go in the first half. For the Raiders, after a four-yard loss, third down, 13. Five defensive backs on for Kansas City. Wilson in the pocket, in, and it's intercepted. It is picked off by D. Ron Cherry. And Kansas City comes up with a big interception. It was intended for Bob Chandler. And D. Ron Cherry, the rookie from Rutgers. You know, that's that's one of the few times that Kansas City has put a lot of pressure on Wilson. You can see right here as Wilson's looking downfield again, used to that pass protection from the right side, he'll get the pressure. Cherry right there. Wilson doesn't have all the time he had previously to hit Chandler, number 85, running away. Picks off the pass and starts up field with it again. Credit that interception to Cherry and the defensive line of Kansas City putting the pressure on Wilson. Smith to the right, Marshall to the left. Kansas City on its own eight. Oakland is offside. Delaney on the handoff. Delaney getting out across the 10 to the 13. Randy McClanahan, 57, the inside linebacker. The ex-Buffalo Bill on the stop. Defense offside, number 73. Dave Browning, the defensive right end, was caught offside. You know, George, Kansas City just... Uh, the field position for Kansas City as they have taken over the 7, the 35-yard line, the 12, the 14, the 27, the 20, the 21, 14, 20, and now the 8. Well, a great guy. What can you say about a guy who put the first ball down. in there? So first, it's, first down for the Chiefs, Merle, but Ray Guy has kept Kansas City down and in bad field position. There's been a change. Herkenhoff has come off as, uh, as Kenny looks at his offensive line. Herkenhoff has been taken inside with his trainer. 
As a result, you've got number 76, Roger Taylor, a young kid out there who doesn't know the complete system, trying to work against Browning, and Kansas City wants to run their left side. So we'll see what kind of a job Taylor can do. First and five, Kenny will go to the air. Zips it over the middle, incomplete. Again, big pressure put on Kenny. Henry Marshall was his target. The clock is stopped. A minute 42 seconds to go in the first half. It's 14 to nothing. The Oakland Raiders out in front. Kansas City beat Denver last week, 28-14, to throw the AFC West into a three-way tie. But Denver's been beaten today by Buffalo, and the Chicago Bears are still leading the San Diego Chargers in their game in Chicago. So this topsy-turvy West could really get interesting. The Raiders are not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Joe Delaney. Delaney can't turn the corner. Tom Condon, the right guard, had pulled to lead the blocking. But Matt Millen, number 55, and Otis McKinney, number 23, came in there with a quick move and made the tackle. Well, we say that they want to run the left side. That is, Kansas City wants to run Oakland, or their left side, Kansas City's right defensive side. You can see the difference an offensive lineman makes. Birkenhoff taken off the field. As we find out how many times out, timeouts Oakland has left. So when you put in a young rookie offensive lineman, you're not as effective running as you'd like to be at a point that you like, at which you'd like to run. Kansas City's having another problem go against them early in the ball game. They're going to have to snap back. And there's a guy right there, Coach Flores, who doesn't feel or doesn't really want to see Kansas City snap back from, as you said earlier, Merle, that topsy-turvy AFC West. Coming up at halftime, NFL 81. We'll have scores and highlights of all the games played in the NFL today. Updates on the later games this afternoon. The Kansas City Chiefs, with Joe Delaney this year, and under this man, Marvin Levy, have really opened up their offense. But it has not been able to get going today against the Raider defense. Marv Levy, very well known in this area, coached the University of California Golden Bears up in Berkeley for four years, coached in the CFL for five years, and has the Chiefs off to their best start since 71, but not in this game today. Kansas City has totaled 360 yards on offense in each game. Average run. Third down. Delaney hit behind the line. They're really working Delaney over. John Matuzak went right after him, and the Chiefs take, or rather the Oakland Raiders take a timeout. Oakland is trying to pin uh, Kansas City down, force him to punt and get another shot at it. Big twos, he's running off the field as he's called here. Those are not boos, those are two twos calls. John fighting around his blocker, getting right into Delaney, and when 6'8", 285 hits you, it's awfully easy to go down. Delaney not really having a chance. So the Raiders take the timeout to stop the clock with a minute 26 uh, seconds to go, and Kansas City is a fourth down and seven coming up. Kansas City has been held a 14 yards rushing in the first half by this Raider defense. Well, that's, that's again, it's not uncommon for the Raiders to do that. Last week, they held Tampa Bay to a game low of 29 yards rushing. They're capable of doing it. Nobody's ever made, they haven't made that many changes on their defense. Nobody has ever said Oakland's defense was that bad. Ted so you're Watts. seeing another good defensive unit come together. Sorry, George. Uh, Ted Watts is sta standing back there all by himself. He is really keyed because this return, if he can make one, as Grupp gets ready to kick it away, could really be the story of this ball game. Grupp has averaged 33.7 a day on six punts. The last time he kicked to the back of his own end zone. A minute 15 seconds left to go now in the first half, and the Raiders leading by a score of 14 to nothing as Phil Kansig, a linebacker, made the tackle. So the ball is on the Oakland 49. Watts had visions of getting that ball back deep into Kansas City territory, but Kansas City special teams covered well. Now Branch goes to the right. A minute 15 seconds showing on the clock. Bradshaw will go in the slot right for Oakland. 
Chandler is in. He splits to the left side for the Raiders. Derek Ramsey in the slot left. Chandler incomplete. Burris was coming up. And I think Wilson saw Burris coming up and just threw the ball over Chandler's head to avoid any interception. Well, right now, Kansas City's hoping to get a good rush on that man by their front three. They want to drop everybody off into pass protection with a minute 11 to go and hopefully not give Wilson those open receivers that he's used to hitting. He's got to get, that is Kansas City's got to get a lot of pressure from those front now four men in the line. Uh, hopefully to uh, block, obscure his vision and to cut down on that amount of time he needs to see his receivers. Second down. Wilson incomplete intended for Derek Ramsey. His tight end. Lloyd Burris had the coverage. A minute six left to play in the first half. Oakland leading by a score of 14 to nothing. You know, George, you were talking about the Raiders holding Tampa in that first half last week in the game in which they won 18 to 16, holding uh, uh, Tampa to, to no first downs in the first 37 minutes of the game and only 21 yards offense in the first half. And yet, Doug Williams got a hot hand in the second half and came back with 335 yards in the air against them. Third down conversion, you see it. That's part of the story of this game. Third down, 10 for Oakland. For Charles Jackson 51 Dave Lindstrom 71 putting the pressure on but Ramsey with a little second effort he didn't have the first down but now he may have it Wilson that familiar poise dropping back looking downfield seeing Ramsey over here on the left side Ramsey taking over from Raymond Chester last game in which he cost six, in which he caught six passes here are two people on him he fights upfield what they like to refer to as Raider poise and pride to get that first down. It's close, and they're about to measure for it. And if they get it, it'll be because it'll be because Ramsey just wouldn't quit. He didn't get it by that much. You can hear the crowd go, go. Tom Flores and his Raiders have a 14-0 lead with 51 seconds left to go in the first half. Kenny King comes on, and Raymond Chester comes in. Christensen comes in. They'll go for it apparently with three tight ends and Kenny King coming into the backfield on the 42 yard line of Kansas City is where the ball is spotted the clock is running with less than 50 seconds here we go fourth down Derek Ramsey has the brother uh, Derek Jensen has the first down at the 40 yard line Derek Ramsey blocking in for him. Derek Jensen carrying for the first down at the 40. Now we have 26 seconds left in the first half, and the Raiders take their last time out. Short yardage formation going to the right side. Wilson on the handoff, two tight ends, and two big offensive linemen on that side. A powerful move inside by the runner, number 31, Jensen, just getting the first down. Oakland getting the better of the offensive line surge and also getting the yardage they need to keep the drive going with 25 seconds left. While Kansas City is 5-2 and two for the year coming into this game, Oakland is 3-4. and four. They open the season with a loss to Denver. Then they beat Minnesota, and Minnesota didn't lose again until today. Then Oakland down Seattle, lost to Detroit, Denver, and Kansas City by shutouts of 16 to nothing, 17 to nothing, and 27 to nothing. Last week, they beat Tampa Bay 18-16. to 16. The Raiders have been riddled with serious injuries, losing... The middle guard or nose tackle Reggie Kinlaw for the year, linebacker Bob Nelson, strong safety uh, uh, Mike Davis, and of course Bob Chandler and Mark Van Egan are back in action today seeing limited duty. But you talk about injuries, Kansas City has 10 on the injured list right now. Well, we'd read you their names, except the list is too long. When you, when you talk about the moves that people have had to make on injured reserve, Tom Flores, that man there, has not had to make the moves that Marv Levy has had to make. He's lost 10 people, 10 people he's had to bring back to fill those gaps from training camp. It's uh, quite a statement in regards to the depth that Kansas City's trying to build to be competitive with 10 injuries to keep people in their 40-man squad. First down to the Kansas City 40. Wilson being pursued. He can run. Slides into second base at about the 27-yard line. With the clock running with 14 seconds, and Oakland has no timeouts remaining. 10 seconds. they got to get it underway and then go for the field goal. Seven seconds. And we've got contact 
walked up on the line and the clock is stopped with three seconds left to play in the first half. False start, offense number 65. So now the Raiders, Mike, Mickey Marvin, he'll leave a false start that takes the ball back to the 33. Three seconds showing. Wilson stepping back, looking around, and finally getting upfield. Once that primary rush is by him, there's a big void as the linebackers drop off. And you'll see Wilson playing it smart, getting down. We're going to try a field goal from the 41-yard line, a 51-yarder if Oakland makes it. Chris Barr has a 51-yarder already this year. He's got the distance on this one, and he's got his second 51-yarder. So Chris Barr, as Marv Levy is living, Chris Barr, a 51-yard field goal as the clock runs out to end the first half of the Oakland Raiders. A surprising 70-0 lead over the Kansas City Chiefs who came into this game with a 5-2 record. The end of the first half, Oakland leads Kansas City by a score of 17 to nothing. Boy, what a wild day in the NFL, George. It really is. You know, it's possible that all three division division leaders tied for the division lead in the Western uh, AFC Conference could lose today. Okay, now Kansas City was held to less than 100 yards. In fact, about 57 or 8 yards total offense in this game so far in the first half. What's going to happen here? I mean, what does Kansas City have to do to put it together? Well, they're going to have to throw a, maybe a little more possession-type pass. Delaney's not getting the running that he got in the first the, uh, three other games previous to this. They've got to put a lot of pressure on number 76, Roger Taylor, who is taking the place of number 60, Matt Birkenhoff, who was injured and taken in before the first half was over. So they're going to have to put pressure on the offensive line, especially Taylor, since they want to run at number 73, Dave Browning, for the Raiders. That's where they got over half their yardage, running at Browning the last time Oakland and Kansas City played. So as a result, they've got to put some pressure on some people. They can't lose their poise. They've got to have the possession passes, get good field position, and then get it in. Statistically, the first half looks like this. 72 yards total for Kansas City. 14 yards for the rush, 58 for the air. And, uh, of course, Mark Wilson has gone for 158 yards through the air, 73 yards on the ground. So Oakland has dominated this uh, first half. It is 17 to nothing as James Murphy gets ready to take the kickoff from Barr, and he pops it high. Let's see what Murphy can do with it from the 12. He's out to the 30. Kansas City has had many, many problems this afternoon as Braceland makes the tackle for the Oakland Raiders. Kansas City has had trouble finding that 50-yard line even as Bill Kenny will bring along the sensational rookie Joe Delaney and James Hadnot with him in the backfield. The wide receivers, J.T. Smith, a burner, Henry Marshall, one of the best. And Herkenhoff gone for the day, but uh, a lot of pressure on Roger Taylor, number 76, who will be his replacement. Let's see what the Chiefs can do from the 30. First play of the third quarter. Hadnot across the 30 to almost the 34, where Matt Millen, the second-year linebacker, makes the stop. And John Matuzak says, I'm glad somebody else makes a tackle once in a while around here. That's Big John and his cohorts up front. Pretty good threesome there. I'll tell you, he can play the whole left side of that defensive line if he wants to. And Hendricks, well, you know about him, what he can do. And Martin, the other outside linebacker, they're as good as you'll find. Lester Hayes, stick him gone, but uh, Lester is still after those ball those pass receivers and he's ball hawking back there all the time in the secondary gain of four second and six play action Kenny gets away from a tackler and completes this one out to Al Dixon is tied in and Dixon has the first down at the 45 yard line Randy McClanahan 57 the linebacker on the stop and a Kansas City Chief is down and it is Delaney I believe who is down for the second time today well, that is another, again, if that's another unfortunate circumstance if he's hurt again and goes out this time. Uh, we were talking about the possession-type passes. Is with great concern they look at Delaney. And that's what Kansas City is trying to throw. If they lose Delaney, half their offense is gone. And they've got a long way to come back with 17 points down. We'll be right back after this commercial message. Joe Delaney, who was blocking on that last play, starting it up very slowly. 
you'll see him from the bottom of your screen coming in number 37 taking on a 255 pound blitzing linebacker and when you want hey uh, when you weigh 184 pounds it's got to hurt to get hit like that didn't didn't slow Mullen up by much we've got a report coming in from New York let's go there right now George thank you very much out of Shea Stadium, the Seattle Seahawks' Jim Zorn has just thrown a 27-yard touchdown past his favorite target, Steve Largent. Seahawks now on top, 13 to nothing. Point after was no good in the third quarter. Let's go back to Merle Harmon and George Coons. Thank you, Byron Day. Keeping you up to date on all the scores from around the country as Kansas City puts the ball in play at its own 46-yard line, trailing 17 to nothing. Billy Jackson is now in for Delaney. They fake the blitz, or do they? Here's Kenny going for it all, and J.T. Smith, incomplete. Lester Hayes had the, the coverage on the play at the 20. Otis McKinney, number 23, was back there to help Lester, but I'm sure Lester's saying, I don't need any help. Another long pass, maybe a little better spiral would have given J.T. Smith the ball. Good coverage by Hayes. A perfect pass would have meant a big play. The pass was not perfect. Hayes had a chance to recover somewhat and knock it away. Kansas City with a second down and 10 from its own 46-yard line, trailing 17 to nothing in the third quarter. 13 minutes, 57 seconds to go in the third period. Lots of time for Bill Kitty and the Chiefs. Smith goes in motion. To the near side, incomplete. Kenny overshooting uh, Henry Marshall, his wide receiver. Rod Martin and Lester Hayes coming. The report on... Uh, Joe Delaney is he has bruised ribs, but he is expected back in the ball game. Tell you one thing, George, he stuck his head right in there on that linebacker coming. He wasn't afraid of him at all. Well, it's, you know, that, that's a credit to him. He's, he's a little bit foolish in doing that at times, but he'd rather do that than see his quarterback error. At 180 pounds, 185 pounds, picking up a 250-pound blitzer on a dead run is hard to do. They'd like to see Ted McKnight come back and split some more time with Delaney so that what you saw just occurred doesn't happen again. That is small back getting beat up by much bigger blitzing linebackers. The Raiders go to a four-man front and the nickel defense. Great catch if it stays by number 87, Stan Rome. It is a reception at the 31-yard line. Dwayne Osteen had the coverage. And Kenny stayed right in there. It looked like he wouldn't be able to get the pass away, but he did. Stan Rome displays on this replay great body control. Kenny looking for receivers, going right to Rome. He looks downfield and waits for him under, with great poise to make his break. Rome going away, reaching back with good body control, brings it in just off the ground. Nice catch. Gain of 23 yards and a first down on the Raider 31. So maybe the Chiefs have something going now as Marshall splits to the left and Taylor to the right. Or Smith, I beg your pardon. Here's Smith coming back to the left side in motion. Black goes down as Kenny goes to the end zone and it is picked up in the end zone by Otis McKinney. Let's see what the flag's about. The flag was thrown in the backfield of Kansas City. Al Dixon was in the pattern deep. Penalty against the City. Holding penalty against the Chiefs. Obviously, Oakland will take over the football. As you see, the ball going into the end zone. Offensive holding, number 65, he refused. Otis McKinney coming down with it, wisely deciding to stay in the end zone. What you didn't see on this replay is Ted Hendricks extending a six foot seven inch frame, causing a lack of visibility and an Otis McKinney reception. Again, we'll be back after this commercial message. Merle Herman and George Coons with you from the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum in Oakland, California, where the Raiders lead the Chiefs by 17 to nothing in the third quarter. Raiders have the ball at their own 20. Derek Jensen, the fullback to the 22. Mike Bell, number 99, the defensive right end, stops the play for Kansas City. Delaney we are told now has either a bruised or possibly a broken rib and will probably not be back in the lineup today for Kansas City. So the Chiefs are losing their number one threat and the first breakaway runner they've had, number one threat on the ground and first breakaway runner they've had, I guess, since uh, 
maybe Mike Garrett. And Jensen carries again for about a yard. It'll be third down seven as Whitney Paul, number 53, makes the tackle. Unless something goes right for the Kansas City offense in the second half, Oakland will have a chance to reciprocate that shutout that Kansas City put on them two weeks ago. And we just may see Steve Fuller, who is loosening up on the sideline into this ballgame for Kansas City in the third quarter. Third down seven for the Raiders. about three and that's all they'll have to give it up on fourth down coming up as Lindstrom number 71 the defensive left in close the play down it'll be fourth down and three for the Raiders and Steve Fuller who was the starting quarterback last year went down with an injury with three games to go Bill Kenny came in led the Chiefs and got the starting job this year as Fuller had to recoup from knee surgery as JT Smith goes back to take the punt from Ray guy who's had quite a day so the Kansas City Chiefs now hope to get good field position out of this punt by Guy. Third quarter, lots of time. The Raiders have been tough today, like the Raiders of old. What a boomer by Guy. Look at that ball go. And finally, JT gets it at the five. And dumped the 15 hard. Jeff Barnes. Made the stop after a 68-yard kick by Ray Guy. And the Raiders lead it 17 to nothing as the Chiefs take over the third quarter. Let's get the numbers out of the way. Part of the responsibility belongs to this man, Ray Guy. Ray at this occasion unlaunches his fifth 60-yard kick of the year. All a receiver can do when they all a receiver can do when he goes 68 yards is run back and try to catch it on the bounce, which is what happened. Back to the live action, and Billy Jackson carries through the middle for Kansas City to the 19-yard line. Matt Millen, 55, the linebacker, made the tackle. Jackson has been primarily a short yardage runner, but he's in there right now for the injured Joe Delaney. He's a third-year man from Alabama. I beg your pardon, a rookie from Alabama. Very, very quick at 223 pounds and 5'10". He led Alabama in rushing last year, which isn't too bad either. Number 72, Hendricks, 83. You're going against a guy 6'8 and 6'7 with that tandem. Well, you know what, what Oakland is doing and quite effectively right now is slanting on their defensive front wall and not giving the Kansas City backs a chance to get a straight shot at the line of scrimmage. Instead of going straight ahead or running north to south, you see him running east to west trying to fill that gap. Matt Millen acting as a lineman and filling in a great many circumstances today trying to get into that hole where they think Kansas City will run. Obviously, Oakland's been effective in guessing where the running will be going. Curtis Bledsoe is now on the backfield with James Hadnott for Kansas City. Slot to the left. Nickel defense for Oakland. They show the blitz. Safety man comes up. Kenny zips it to Marshall, and he has covered well at the 24-yard line by Burgess Owens, short of a first down. Owens was really hawking Marshall. That was almost an early hit, but Burgess timed it perfectly for good coverage. Once again, Kansas City's got to give up the football, and Grupp hasn't been kicking that well. Grupp has really kind of had an offseason for the Kansas City Chiefs. After being an All-Pro a couple of years ago, Ted Watts goes back for the reception for the Oakland Raiders. Grupp's longest kick of the year, 57 yards. A big one right now. Hangs it high. Watts takes it on his own 42. Blacks go down as he goes to the 48. Todd Thomas on the special teams. 34 yard punt, six yard return. Thomas gets the tackle. You know, as we wait for this penalty call, we see a clip being called by the officials against Oakland. Rupp is just consistently not turning the ball over. His yardage has decreased because the nose of the football isn't coming down as it should, as it does in a forward pass. It's hanging up there, causing the ball to spiral a little bit backwards, creating air pressure, which is no short. Oh, oh, flipping on the kick return, 43-3. First down. 
Pop Fredericks least out on that call. All right. 8.31 to go in the third quarter. We have a timeout at Oakland. It's all on the Raider 31-yard line. They put the ball in play today with good field position. In the first half, they had it on their own 48, the Kansas City 6. They're on 30, 44, 43, 32, 44, the Kansas City 48 and 21. They just haven't been pinned down today at all. Mark Wilson, little play action. King swinging to the right. Wilson going back over the middle. It is picked off. It is picked up by Whitney Paul. Paul at the 40. And flags go down as Paul gets to the 35-yard line. Will this be the break the Kansas City Chiefs need? A 12-yard return of the interception by Whitney Paul, who went 47 yards on a fumble recovery last week against Denver for a touchdown. Clip against Kansas City. Well, at least they have the football. At least they have the football, and they have it in fairly decent field position. Whitney Paul dropped back, a former defensive end, now a, a lot of speed playing linebacker, made a good effort to get the ball, returned it upfield for a distance, which is nullified by the clip. But still, Kansas City has a ball in good field position at their own 47-yard line, the chance to get the ball in for a score with 8.20 to go in the third quarter. Clipping on the return. First down. So Kansas City clipped, and the ball will be put in play on the 47-yard line. Gary Spaney was guilty of the clip. The Chiefs are sending J.T. Smith to the right, Henry Marshall to the left. Bill Kenny still at quarterback. Fuller had been warming up earlier. Inside handoff. Look at that Oakland defense with Matuzak react on Billy Jackson. Twos, they're yelling. When you lose a key guy in your offensive line, things don't go exactly right. You see a little pull, a semi-trap. You'll also see number 76, Taylor, trying to take his man inside, but his man bottles up the hole, and the runner has no place to go. Billy Jackson trying to get something, getting nothing, because of the good effort by the defensive line of the Oakland Raiders. The Chiefs need a big play. They need to get on the scoreboard. They need to build the confidence in their offense, and this one... A little pass to the tight end to Al Dixon gets into midfield and in Oakland territory, but not much more. Matt Millen, 55, Burgess Owens, 44. Make the tackle on that one. The report on Joe Delaney is he probably will not be back this afternoon as we look at Matt Millen. Either a bruised or broken rib for the sensational rookie from Northwest Louisiana. And the Oakland Raiders are bringing on five defensive backs on this third down and five and the Chiefs have had trouble converting on the third down situation so far this afternoon. Well, they really haven't had any. Uh, they've had to go great distances. They couldn't run for that first down in third down situations. They're going to have to throw for another one. They're one for 11. Let's see if they can get this one. Marshall trapped the ball. Underthrown by Bill Kenny. It is fourth down coming up for Kansas City. You know, if the Raiders go on and win this ball game, and should the Chicago Bears hold their lead over San Diego in Chicago, the Western Division of the AFC would still be in a three-way tie for first. But the Oakland Raiders would have suddenly projected themselves into the picture with a 4-4 four and four record if they hold the lead as Ted Watts is back to take the punt from Bob Grubb. The Oakland defensive unit has not been shoddy. When Oakland's had problems this year, it's been with the offense. Oakland's defense, the fourth-rated defense in the AFC, and you're seeing a good reason why it's rated that highly today. Grupp, waiting, waiting, waiting. Bad step. Grupp puts it upstairs, however. Way up here, way, way up here. And they line the ball up. I don't think he's going to get too much on that one either. So the Raiders will take over as Grupp has had a had a rather unspectacular day in the punting department. The Raiders lead at 17 to nothing with 6.51 to go in the third quarter after a Harmon and George Coons with you at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum in Oakland, California, where the Raiders, the defending Super Bowl champions, lead the Chiefs 17 to nothing. Oakland has gone for 236 yards total offense today. Kansas City 124. Mark Wilson at quarterback. Derek Jensen, and Jensen across the 25 at the 26. Mike Bell is over there, Charles Jackson. Bell at 99, Jackson number 51. Second down, eight. We have six minutes 
30 seconds to go in the third quarter. As Morris Bradshaw splits to the right, Branch goes to the left. Mark Wilson calls it. Wilson to the near side, intended for Derek Ramsey as tight end, and Whitney Paul was there to bring up the play. Ramsey replaced Chester as a starting tight end after the loss to the Denver Broncos. He's a four-year man from Kentucky. Raymond Chester now the backup, and of course over at left guard, a rookie Kurt, Mar uh, Kurt uh, Marsh, number 60, replaced the veteran All-Pro Gene Upshaw as the Raiders made a five-man shakeup after their first two shutouts. Didn't work for the next game, but it apparently helped last week against Tampa Bay. Five defensive backs for Kansas City, third down, eight. Wilson to the near side. Branch, and he has a reception. Green, there on the coverage. Ten yards and a first down to Cliff Branch. As the game progresses and the score remains the same, you're going to see more of these possession-type down-and-out patterns here. Wilson, again, getting fairly good protection, hitting Branch on the sideline. Not all the distance he may have gotten, but enough for the first down. Right now, Oakland just wants to eat up that clock keep Kansas City from getting the ball, use the people they have, use them wisely, get the first downs, and keep possession. Flag goes down as Whittington carries, and Arthur is hit behind the line at the 34. Kurt Marsh pulled to lead the blocking. Gary Spaney was over there along with Whitney Paul, the linebackers who are very active. Kansas City is a good quartet with Jackson, Spaney, Blanton, and Paul. And Thomas Howard is missing for the lineup. He's out with an injury. Mickey Marvin, I believe. Illegal, illegal motion. Number 65 is the, the offense. Refuse. Second down. Mickey Marvin, guilty of the infraction. Second and 13 for the Raiders. There's the baseball score from Dodger Stadium. The Yankees won to nothing on the top of the sixth. Second down, 13. The Raiders, 17 to nothing. went after that ball good coverage by Kansas City and Bradshaw trapped the ball off the turf and it is third down and 13 this was really great effort by both athletes as you see Wilson once again dropping back with good protection Lindstrom getting picked up on the inside by Lawrence throwing the ball good coverage by Green good attempt good body control by both individuals thank goodness an official was there to call it and call it accurately Six minutes to go in the third quarter. The Chiefs have not been able to get on the scoreboard today here in Oakland. Mark Wilson threw a touchdown pass to Bradshaw in the first quarter, ran for one in the second quarter, and a field goal in the second quarter. 70 to nothing. Flag down again. And this time, intended receiver Arthur Whittington coming out of the backfield. Lloyd Burris, the rookie safety, the strong safety from Maryland, had the coverage. Holding, I believe, is the call against Oakland. Offensive holding, number 60, refused. Fourth down. Kurt Marsh, the rookie from Washington. And the first rookie starter on the offensive line since 1967 for the Raiders. Guilty of holding. You know, Chiefs refuse the penalty, and Oakland will punt it away. With the addition of, of Marsh to the lineup, Earl. It gives the Oakland Raiders one year less offensive line experience than it gives the Kansas City Chiefs. And people regard Kansas City's offensive line as a fairly young unit. Smith deep for Guy's punt. He's averaged 38.2. High snap. It doesn't bother him. He hangs that ball way up there. J.T. Smith going to the fair catch. They're all around it. He's got the ball on the 31. Guy had a 68-yard punt his last time. He's had Kansas City deep in its own territory almost after every punt. 36 yarder on that one but he got the job done 548 to go in the third quarter as the Kansas City Chiefs take over again Bill Kenny comes back on the field to lead the offense he left Jack Rudney at center Brad Buddy and Tom Condon at the guards Roger Taylor has replaced Herkinoff at left And head nod and Jackson are the running backs. Be sure to join us next Sunday for host Tyant Brian. Let me do that again. Brian Gumble for NFL 81. All the highlights.
highlights and more about that in a moment. Easy for you, sir. Yeah. First and ten. Henry Marshall as he turned defensive back against Monty Johnson who was about to make the interception and he took a whack from the intended receiver Henry Marshall that's when a receiver has to play defense he's got to time his hit as well as a defensive man when he sees a possibility of an interception Marshall good heady play came in there just in time to knock the ball away from Jackson right there number 42 Kenny stepping back he's got to go a little longer now not necessarily because he wants to but because he's got to catch up and time is running out fairly slowly now but still running out there you see a perfectly timed hit by the offensive man to keep the defense from getting the ball second and ten Kenny under a rush gets popped but he completes it this time to Henry Marshall at midfield and he is down to the 48 yard line and the blitzing linebacker Matt Millen really nailed Bill Kenny who is getting up very slowly back in the 20, the 20 yard line but he completed that pass to Marshall for 21 yards and a first down they put the ball in the 48 yard line Monty Jackson is also down and he made the hit. And let's go to New York now for an update. Okay, Merle Harmon, thank you very much. Over at Chase Stadium, the Seahawks are really putting it to the Jets. Sherman Smith just blasted four yards for six points. A point after was no good, but the Seahawks are still on top, 19 to three in the fourth quarter. Merle? Okay, Byron and uh, Seattle going for its second win. Boy, those Jets are up and down, aren't they? Oh, they really are. They've got good personnel in New York, too. Seattle, uh, one and six going into the game today. The Jets, three, three, and one. The Jets, uh, until, well, if they win that ball game, they become a factor in the AFC East. Buffalo has lost today. Seahawks have lost 15 out of the last 16. And Fuller stays loose on the bullpen. He is the bullpen quarterback today. But that's where he's been in the bullpen. So Jackson, the seven-year veteran from San Diego State, coming off uh, under his own power, and Dwayne Osteen, whom uh, Jackson beat out of the job a week or so ago, will replace him at the right cornerback spot. You know, Jackson came up here in 78, a big trade uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, they gave up, I think, a number one and a number three draft choice to get him. And people have been down on him because he hadn't been playing. Yet when he came in to replace Osteen last week, he did a great job. And he's been doing well and playing consistently. Uh, now Osteen has a chance to see if he can do as well as Jackson has. Fake pass and a handoff to head knot. A little trickery here. A head knot, big running play. Down inside the 35, out of bounds around the 30. Burgess Owens chased him out. Bill Kenny going for a little trickery. Uh, Arm up in the air. Well, let's watch him. A little bit of trickly, uh, trick, trickery, almost a Statue of Liberty, but had not takes the ball. A player that Coach Levy says is 110% improved because of Delaney's addition to the ball club. Here he gets a great effort going, beats by two Oakland defensive backs, finally pushed out of bounds by Owens, but not after, uh, not before he got a good game down to the Oakland 30. So after an 18-yard pickup, the Kansas City Chiefs have a first down to the Oakland 30, and it looks like they might really be putting it together now here in the third quarter. Here comes the blitz, picked up well by Kansas City. Kenny wanting it all. Look out, Lester Hayes. Lester Hayes picks it off of the end zone. J.T. Smith was the receiver, and Hayes picks up his second interception of the year. And the third interception for Oakland this afternoon. Lester Hayes after number two uh, in terms of receptions, the interceptions for the year. Not a good pass by Kenny as he steps back, trying to go for all the marbles, simply overthrows his receiver. Hayes was behind his receiver. As you see here, the ball going right to Hayes. It looks almost as if Hayes beat the offensive man to catch the ball. Number 86 Smith tackling them, but to no avail since Oakland gets the ball on their own 20-yard line after the Hayes interception. The Raiders have a 17 0 lead. 4.54 to go in the third quarter in Oakland. Pitch goes back to Kenny King. King runs out of bounds around the 25. Gary Barbaro, number 26. The free safety chased him out of bounds. So Kenny King, the third year man from Oklahoma who came to the Raiders from the Houston Oilers in the Jack Tatum trade. They have King. Tatum is gone. 
Second down, five for the Raiders. Kenny is eight for 25, 132 yards for the Kansas City quarterback and three interceptions today. And we wonder if Fuller will come on when the Chiefs get the football again. Flag goes down. King on the sweep. King thrown down by number 53, Whitney. Ball as we get a second flag. I believe we had movement on the uh, Oakland right side of the line to start with. Then came a second flag. Illegal use of the hands by somebody. Ramsey, I think, let's see what Bob Frederick says. Ramsey, I believe, was the offensive line. The Illegal move the offense, team board. 53 on the defense. Illegal use of the hands. They will offset and will replay the second down again. So Whitney Paul, guilty of the foul for Kansas City. Derek Ramsey moved too soon for Oakland. The Raiders have a 17 to nothing lead, 444 to go in the third quarter. Now Oakland's gonna have to switch a little of their strategy. Henry Lawrence just came to the sidelines, their offensive right tackle. Lindsey Mason going in, so we'll see if Lindstrom can do a little better against Mason than he did against Lawrence. And Bruce Davis has uh, moved in there also. Skips across the 25 to about the 27. Kenny King Sweeney makes the tackle. And it'll be third down coming up. Let's go to New York. Merle out Chicago. Dan Fouts has just thrown his 18th touchdown pass of the season. That leads the NFL. He connects with Charlie Joyner for six points. That's brought the Chargers into a tie at 10 all with Chicago Bears. Merle? All right, Byron, and those uh, San Diego Chargers must be looking at the scoreboard and figuring, hey, we better get going against the Bears and win this game. Third down two. Wilson, complete to Branch. He's got the first down of the 35. Eric Harris, one of the fine cornerbacks in the league, but Branch is a tough guy to cover. He's still got the 9-2 speed. In his 10th year out of the University of Colorado, a gain of 10 and a first down, they spot the ball at the 37. Well, things are getting tougher consistently for Kansas City. Now Wilson, again, can take those short passes and work them to perfection for the type of uh, consistent game he needs to keep that ball in his possession. Branch getting a first down. Oakland has at least another two minutes on the clock they can eat up. Three, Whitney Paul, 57, Jerry Plant, and the linebackers make the tackle. And Wilson, who at 6'6", and with those very long arms, as you saw there, just reached way up into the air, spotted his running back right over the line, and gets a second down, two. We're reaching the three-minute mark to go in the third quarter. As Branch goes wide to the left, Branch shot to the right for Oakland. Time going for Bradshaw and it's for the Kansas City Chiefs, Gary Green. Gary Green on the interception for the Kansas City Chiefs, and they take over the football inside their own 30-yard line. Gary Green, a good defensive back. Wilson looking one way. All of a sudden, with all that time, once again looking at his secondary receiver. But Green with a great effort and good leaping ability, stepping right in front of Morris Bradshaw to pick it off. One of these plays made by the Kansas City defense, which has been playing steadily now, has to help their offense get going, or Kansas City can write this off. They've got to make the big play on offense, just as their Kansas City defense has made the big play in this particular instance. And Steve Fuller is in for the first time this year for the Kansas City Chiefs. Fuller the head nut to the line of scrimmage. Johnny Robinson, the nose tackle, or middle guard, if you will, makes the tackle. So they get about two, maybe three, make it two, second down eight. Johnny Robinson, number 68, strong upper body, plants himself, wraps his arms around the offensive back, takes him down. A rookie from Louisiana Tech, big addition in the fourth round to this Raider ball club. One young man they say they can grow with in a big way. Steve Fuller, third year man from Clemson at 6'4", 198, back for his first pass of the year. He connects to J.T. Smith of the 
40-yard line for a first down. Otis McKinney, the strong safety, had the coverage. Fuller went out last year with a knee injury, missed the last three contests, had uh, surgery to correct a torn cartilage. Bill Kenny stepped in, won the job. Steve Fuller has been sitting, waiting, has been ready to play. He had the job firmly in hand as the 1980 season opened, finished the year as the AFC's fourth-rated quarterback behind Sipe, Fouts, and Wharton. So here he is. six-yard line. A tremendous catch by J.T. Smith. Lester Hayes, the quarterback, got him down after a 13-yard pickup and a first down on the 45-yard line of the Oakland Raiders. Steve Fuller, the number one draft choice in 1979, probably uh, as good as anyone when it comes to passing. Matt Millen, equally as good on defense at 255 pounds, trying to be nifty in the defensive secondary, and it's hard to be nifty when you're 255, as you saw right there. But he was back in coverage in time to tell Smith that he was there just in case he'd gotten away from Lester Hayes, number 37. Slot left. That's Smith in motion. two-yard loss by Johnny Robinson, number 68, the nose tackle, the rookie from Louisiana Tech. He beat Dave Pear out of the job. A lot of nose tackles that say you're welcome to it. <laughs> well, Dave Pear, I know, would like to be back in football, but it's a credit to Robinson. Pear, a former pro bowler, Robinson comes in and takes a position away, makes the ball club, and has big expectations. Uh, what else can a young man want in a game like this? Loss of two, second down, 12, two sacks by Oakland today for 12 yards and losses. Five defensive backs on the field now for the Raiders as they go into their nickel defense. Second and 12, Oakland's gonna be offside unless Kansas City drew them off. Fuller again under pressure. Fuller running and sliding inside the 30 to about the 29. And I'll tell you something, Dwayne Osteen did a smart thing there. Nobody had touched Fuller. He could have gotten up and gone again. And Osteen ran over and touched him to put him down. Steve Fuller, number one draft choice. People say a better athlete than Kenny who leads by example. Here, once that defensive line comes towards you, you have a void between the line and the linebacking core. Wisely goes down, should not let go of the ball Defense before he was touched. Offside, number 90, review. Kansas City will take the game. Offsides against Oakland. So Fuller is moving the Chiefs and moving them well with 37 seconds to go in the third quarter. Ball in the 29-yard line of the Raiders. Al Dixon, number 84, looking into that huddle saying, throw the ball to me, Steve. from Alabama. So the Chiefs finally get on the scoreboard. It's been a frustrating day so far. A play right in the middle, giving the ball to Jackson, who takes it and breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Bursts into the secondary, and the man who led Alabama in rushing last year breaks another tackle downfield. A great individual effort. You didn't see too much downfield blocking by the uh, by the receivers of Kansas City, but you saw a great effort by that man right there, Billy Jackson. Now the hold by Fuller and the extra point try. Lowry puts it right to the middle. So we're down to 29 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Kansas City Chiefs, after being frustrated for the first three quarters, are on the scoreboard. It is 17 to 7. And Billy Jackson, who replaced Joe Delaney, gets the TD on the 29-yard run. He was a seventh-round draft choice. Now it's going to be interesting to see what uh, the Kansas City defense, can they react to this offensive drive? Well, Kansas City's defense got this thing going. They've, they've got the points on the board. They, they provided a little bit of a catalyst for the offense. Now the offense has added a little more fuel to the fire. They're giving the defense a chance to add to it creating a larger blaze, something that they can get going and get some points back on the scoreboard. They've got 10 points to go before it's tied, 11 before they can consider it a win. 
But these guys can do it if they keep the same attitude. They've got 15 minutes, 29 seconds left in the game, 29 seconds left in the third quarter. So they've got plenty of time. It's just a matter of keeping the poise that they're trying to develop. Now, the Seagulls haven't set their clock. Lowry will kick off. With a time change, they usually get into the ballpark after the game and pick up the goodies left on the field by the fans. They're going to have to wait a while today. They can leave that ball alone. Woodington, deep in the end zone, is going to run it out. He was three yards deep. He's out to the 10 at the 15. And the Chiefs cover him well at the 17-yard line. Make it the 18-yard line. Ed Beckman on the special teams, a tight end, was down to make the stop after a 21-yard return. So the Chiefs go 72 yards on six plays with Jackson getting the payoff. The ball at the 18. 17 to 7, Oakland. The Raiders shut out three games in a row. Bounced back last week to beat Tampa Bay. Jumped into a 17 to nothing halftime lead against Kansas City. Now it's a third quarter with 20 seconds to go and Mark Wilson at quarterback. Wilson to Derek Jensen and Jensen, Derek Jensen on the slant to the 24 stopped by Lloyd Burris number 34 the strong safety pretty good game there by Derek Jensen the third year man from Texas Arlington he started the last four games in place of the injured Mark Van Egan as we count down the clock and the third quarter has come to an end and the Seagulls are here in Oakland that's the end of the third quarter of the score Oakland 17 Kansas City 7 and we'll be right back after these messages from where the Raiders lead the Chiefs by a score of 17 to 7, a very, very big ball game for each club. The Raiders, if they can hold on to this lead, and if Chicago can beat San Diego, things would get very interesting in the AFC West. And could it be the Raiders will be at it again? Off to a bad start last year, they went to the Super Bowl and won it. Mark Wilson, second down, four. Pitching it to Kenny Kang, and Kang has the first down across the 30. Moving out to about the 32, where Ken Kramer, number 91, the nose tackle, and Lloyd Burris, 34, the strong safety, and right linebacker Charles Jackson, 51, make the tackle. One Los Angeles, and three number five in the World Series. So the Raiders still are holding the edge in uh, statistics. Possession time, almost even. We've got a timeout. We've got an injured Kansas City Chief, I believe. Uh, Mike Bell, number 99, going to the sideline, but doesn't really want to go to the sideline. Dino Mangiero might be coming in now as Mike Bell, who's been injury prone. He had a shoulder, had shoulder surgery last year. This time it's not the shoulder, he's limping. Mike Bell, a young man, they expect a lot of things from in the future. And with Art still gone, more pressure on him. Now, number 74, Mangiero. Just picked up again this week at the bottom of your screen, filling Bell's shoes in a tight situation. Mark Wilson goes down on the 24-yard line. Mangiero on his first play with Gary Spaney on a blitz. Wilson, who looks an awful lot like Ray Guy, setting up, looking left, then coming back to the same position, but doesn't have a chance. Spaney right there, taking him down. We'll be right back. We're going to New York for an update, then back here in Oakland for more action. To our town in Chicago, the Bears have just scored. Punching it over from three yards out, Walter Payton. They're now on top of the Chargers, 17 to 10. There's less than three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. All right, Byron, the draw goes to Arthur Whittington, and Whitney Paul stops him. So they had a... Let's see, they had a second down and 18. The ball has moved to the 30-yard line, where it'll be third down and 13. And Byron, those, um, thank you for the report from the Chicago-San Diego game. Three minutes left, as Byron reported. And boy, what an upset that would be, and what a topsy-turvy Western division of the AFC we would have if Oakland holds the lead, but Kansas City. Now a big play on third down. Big play for the Kansas City defense. Five defensive backs in. Wilson under a rice, runs out of it. Heads to the sideline, cuts up field. He's going to get what he can. He does not get the first down. Flags go down, though. He may have been hit out of bounds. Whitney Paul, who was chasing him and pursuing him. And if Kansas City gets the flag, that's going to be a big, big mistake for the Chiefs, and it is. 
A penalty against Kansas City. A big mistake by the Chiefs as we see the yardage being marked off. Wilson clearly trying to get out of bounds, and those officials are going to protect that quarterback. We see Whitney Paul there making an aggressive mistake. That's the kind of a mistake that doesn't hurt the quarterback and that the coaches can take at a time. On the defense, first down. But the result of that aggressive mistake is an additional 15 yards against his ball club. And possession, because they would have had a fourth down coming up. Bruce Davis comes back in at right tackle, spelling Henry Lawrence again for the Oakland Raiders. Art Shell is the other tackle. The guards are Marvin and Marsh. The center is Sylvester. Oakland goes to the run. Kansas City reacts on Derek Jensen to knock him down to the 45-yard line after a one-yard pickup. And number 74, Dino Mangiero from Rutgers and Charles Jackson, 51, the linebacker, stopped the play. Number 74, Mangiero being tested. Oakland wants to see how much he knows playing the end position. So they're trying to run small little traps over there. Spaney is going to have to fill because Mangiero will get trapped and at times with a much bigger Mickey Marvin get blown out a little bit. So as a result, more pressure on the linebackers and fewer defensive linemen for Kansas City with Bell out. Wilson to the air. To the far side. And it is caught but out of bounds by Bradshaw. The coverage by Gary Green. Hey, if Green comes up with an interception there, it's a quick six for Kansas City. Boy, that's for sure. Gary Green had been a very good defensive back since 1977. And they feel that Eric Carter, number 44, is developing along those same lines to give them a good set of corners. And they are being tested today, believe me, with those short down and out patterns by a very young Mark Wilson. Deron Cherry comes into the backfield for Kansas City, giving them the nickel defense is Cherry, Barbaro, Burris, Harrison, Green in the secondary for the Kansas City Chiefs. Third down, nine. What kind of a rush can Kansas City get? A good one, and Wilson goes down at the 45-yard line. Ken Kramer, the nose tackle, fired through there, and it's fourth down. Fourth down, almost 18 yards to go. One of the things that uh, Kansas City was trying to do in leaving Kramer inside was to test Steve Sylvester, number 66. Sylvester got in trouble with Kramer that time. Kramer got the better, the better of him, and the Kansas City strategy of leaving Kramer inside proved to be effective. Right now, it'll be up to Ray Guy again, who has been... A key man in this ball game today as Wilson discusses the situation on the sideline. Guy, uh, Guy rather, has just been tremendous. J.T. Smith will be back deep for Kansas City. Smith, one of the fine punt returners in the league, but it's tough to return punts against Ray Guy. Not much on that one, though. Kansas City is going to come out of this one in great shape. Ray Guy got a big rush from Kansas City, and that might be one of the shortest kicks that he'll have all year. With 11.39 to go in the ballgame, Oakland leads 17 to seven, and Guy had a 13-yard kick. And win this ball game, if the Bears beat San Diego, they would take sole possession of first place in the Western Division of the AFC. If they don't win it, and San Diego loses to Chicago, we'd still have a three-way tie in the West, but the Raiders would move into the picture with a record of four and four as Steve Fuller brings the Chiefs offense to the 41-yard line with Jackson and Haddon out as the running backs. Fuller right over the middle to his tight end, Al Dixon, for the first down. He got about 11 on the play. Matt Millen made the tackle. Let's go to Byron Day in New York. Okay, Merlin, Texas Stadium. The Dolphins opening up over the Cowboys. David Woodley throwing this four-yard touchdown pass to Joe Rose. He just broke. A single game passing record, Dolphins history, 27-14 in the fourth. Thank you, Byron. Boy, that's some game in Irving, Texas. They did not make the first down. I called it a little too soon. Second down, inches to go. Dixon in motion, set to the left side as a tight end. Had not gets the first down to about the 47-yard line of the Oakland Raiders. Game Ted Hendricks, 83, in there on the tackle. Johnny Robinson, 68. Matt Millen, 55. Brad Buddy leading the blocking. His father, of course, Ed Buddy, a 14-year veteran with the Kansas City Chiefs. Matt Millen's had quite a day. Well, he fills the screen when he's on it, too, doesn't he? Sure does. He reminds me of George Coons when George was playing <laughs> as you. recently as last year. 
Yeah, but I couldn't cover the defensive secondary the way that Matt can. First and 10, Kansas City. 10, 19 to go in the game. Something went wrong there. Busted play on the handoff to Hadnot and Browning and Robinson. Two of the three men up front were all over Hadnot. And Oakland's whole team was coming that time. Fuller taking the snap, doesn't really have a chance to do anything because of a miscue with his back. And if he could be called for face mask grabbing, he would be. As a result of that, most of the Raider defense is in there to greet the offensive back carrying the ball. And Kansas City loses about four yards. Willie Jones comes in. They switch to the nickel defense. Second and comes into the line. It is second down, 13 after a three-yard loss in the 49-yard line of Kansas City. Dixon, the 6'5", 235-pound tight end from Iowa State, hauling it in for 26 yards. He's a tremendous athlete, a three-sport collegiate star at Iowa State, football, baseball, and basketball, and he used those basketball hands on that one. Well, I'll tell you, Al Dixon, again, drafting two tight ends, number one and number three, in your draft, Dixon saw a challenge. He's had a bad hamstring, but he's answering it. Fuller a pass, Fuller throwing a passer who throws a passer who throws more to the person, and not the pattern. Hit Dixon. Dixon took it up as an extra effort. Gives his team an opportunity. 9.22 to go in the game. The ball on the 24. Billy Jackson. Nailed at the 25 by Randy McClanahan, the linebacker. Rod Martin, the other linebacker on the right side, helping out. The ball on the 25. A loss of a yard. Second down and 10. You know, I, I think I've stated it once before, but the whole complexion of an offense changes when a key individual on in the offensive line is gone. In this particular case, number 60, Herkenhoff, the left tackle, was taken out, was being replaced by a rookie, a first-year man, Roger Taylor. Kansas City has been very successful in running and Browning. Browning is being more successful versus Taylor. As a result, that running game is a little bit more Fuller is down on his own 33. Cedric Hardman, who came in with that last defensive unit, and they had five backs. Cedric Hardman, an 11-year veteran, former San Francisco 49er, and a guy they used to call nasty, makes the play. Lester trying to get a shove in there, gets his hand on him beyond that five-yard zone. You better watch that or he could be called. His receiver, good coverage on Smith. So his he was there with his receiver, but again, those officials watching that bump after five yards downfield. The Chiefs lost eight, and it's third and 19. the charge. Fuller's got an open field. He's going to outrun Matuzak. Look at him go. Out of bounds on the 10-yard line. And the Chiefs are upset thinking Fuller took an extra shot on the sideline by Burgess Owens. And they go flying down the sideline to challenge the, the officials call. And here come the flags now. And that might be against Kansas City. And Marv Levy is living. Marv Levy thought that Burgess Owens put a cheap shot on Kenny on the 10-yard line and almost the entire sideline of Kansas City went firing down there. And then came the yellow flag. Fuller going down the field, a wide open field with number 72, John Matusek. On the Kansas City bench, first down. Again, Fuller taking a step, seeing the coverage is there with Matuzak right in your screen, decides to take it upfield after eluding the rush. And the only person you'll see near him if he's there at all is Matuzak. But out of the corner, defensive back to up and push him out of bounds. A good call, not a cheap shot, taking him out of bounds. People in Kansas City sideline being a little upset, saying it was a cheap shot, but officials don't like to take abuse, even if it's from the, even if it's from the bench. They saw Kansas City with a very costly 15-yard penalty taking the ball out to the 25. Fuller got 23 yards on the play, and the penalty from the spot of the foul brings the ball back to the 25, but it's a first down Kansas City with 8.02 left to play. The foul after the play was dead. Fuller with some time, but does he have a receiver? He can't find it. Rod Martin, the linebacker, got him from behind to the 29. Four yards to make 
It's second and 14. Big play by Rod Martin. Fuller has a chance to get his team in the end zone, looks downfield, sees nothing there, and tries to do the same thing, go the same way as before. In this instant, instance, Rod, uh, Rod Martin was blitzing, second down. got Fuller from behind for a four-yard loss. Kansas City, if they can get the ball in now, is in great shape. If not, they surrender time on that clock, which is becoming more of a factor with 7.40 to go in the fourth quarter. And you can see that flag coming. So the Chiefs will have a first and goal. Defensive pass interference, number 44. First down and goal. Burgess Owens gets the flag, the nine-year veteran from Miami of Florida, who used to be a New York Jet. The ball will be put on the three-yard line in Kansas City, down by 10. Knocking on the door now with a lot of time. Ed Beckman has come in as a tight end. Kansas City will have Dixon and Beckman as the tight ends. Beckman, from a wing position, runs a trap that has been very successful in short yardage with Kansas City. There he is. And the carry touchdown. Billy Jackson, and you saw Beckman as you called it there, George Coons. You saw Beckman go in motion, and you saw Billy Jackson going right behind him. Well, now, again, very successful play for Kansas City down on the goal line and in short yardage. You see Jackson going right behind number 85, Beckman, who leads away around the left side, gets the ball in the end zone. A good job by the left side of the line. Taylor, Buddy, Rudney helping out there, the 14-year, 12-year veteran, and a good job by Beckman, number 85, who has that as a specialty in those short yardage situations. minutes 20 seconds to go in this ball game the kansas city chiefs finally putting points on the board it is now oakland 17 kansas city 14 and will billy jackson's two touchdown runs here in the second half of 29 and three yards has catapulted kansas city right back into this ball game as nick lowry will be kicking off chester willis and arthur whittington are deep for the oakland raiders we have seven minutes and 20 seconds to play it's going to whittington but down he goes shy of the three-yard line. Raiders take over after a 21-yard return by Whittington, and we pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. You're watching WDAF-TV4, Kansas City. Merle Herman and George Coons with you in Oakland, California. The Raiders led 17 to nothing at halftime. But here in the second half, the Chiefs have finally started to put it together. Oakland's lead has been cut to three. Branch splits to the left side. Branch out of the right. Mangiero, Lindstrom, and Kramer up front in a three-man front for Kansas City. And they react quickly on the handoff to Whittington. And he gets very, very little. You can see that number 61, Parrish, rallying his troops around him. They've started something now. The offense and the defense building on one another. Uh, they've, they've got the ball game back in perspective with 651. Dallas and Miami, what a game going on. 28-27 Dallas at this time in the fourth quarter. Second down nine for Oakland. Wilson over the middle of Woody's almost intercepted. Gary Spaney and Charles Jackson were there close as Whittington got his hands on the football and those linebackers were oh so close. Kansas City in nine plays going 59 yards being stung with a penalty but then getting it right back the ball even deeper in Oakland territory on defensive pass interference against Oakland. Third down one, big third down for Mark Wilson. Still in the pocket, and it's incomplete. Ramsey covered by Charles Jackson. 
So the Kansas City defense holds. They used about one minute of the clock. Wilson dropping back behind fairly good protection. Every defensive lineman Kansas City has as healthy as in the game. Throwing the ball to, Jen, to Ramsey. Ramsey, a very catchable ball, really. Hit by number 51, Charles Jackson. So right now, Ray Guy has to pull out another big punt. His last big one was 68 yards. We'll see if Ray can match it again to keep his field in fairly good defensive field position. And let's see if J.T. Smith can get some kind of a return for Kansas Ray City. Guy a boomer. But J.T. is back for this one. Let's see what he can do. Pursuit by Jeff Barnes, the linebacker. A great job by Jeff Barnes, a 56-yard kick by Ray Guy. And Kansas City will take over the football with 6.19 to go and trailing by three points. And we'll return to Oakland in just a moment. Good service is no big thing. It's a million little things. Bills on three field goals by Nick McAmire. One coming with about, well, one to four seconds left. We have two different reports on it to win that game. First down, Kansas City. The ball of the 17. Fuller running, sliding at the 20. Johnny Robinson covered it. He got maybe three. Second down, seven. It's interesting. Almost every time Fuller is running out of the pocket, he's running to his left side, as if to say that he knows Matuzak is going to stay in there closer, being more of a plugger, and he knows that number 73, Browning, is going to be coming upfield more of a pass rusher. So every time he tries to escape that rush, he has been going to his left. The Chiefs with a second down, 7, 5.43 to play in the game. Fuller dumps it over the middle. Al Dixon, the tight end. He's got a first down at the 34. Ted Hendricks, the linebacker, made the tackle after a 14-yard pickup, and all of a sudden Al Dixon has become a very big man in this ballgame. Al Dixon and that man right there, Steve Fuller, Fuller, the first-round draft choice, has been riding the bench for a while. Once again, takes a look upfield and finds Dixon, a man supposedly with a bad hamstring, whose job was in question earlier this year in training camp, as a matter of fact. Catches the ball, takes it up for another first down. That's the 14th first down of this half for Kansas City. Oakland is head four. Fuller on a screen, going to Billy Jackson, and Jackson doesn't get too much on that one. At about the 36, Matt Millen, the linebacker. Ted Hendricks, the other linebacker, 55 and 83. Stop Billy Jackson, who is filling in for the injured Joe Delaney. We have had no further report on Delaney as to whether he has bruised ribs or a cracked rib. But Billy Jackson, the 5'10", 223-pound rookie from Alabama, has come on to score two touchdowns for Kansas City here in the second half, one of 29 yards and one of three. Five defensive backs on now for Oakland on second down, seven. Fuller wants a timeout. He saw something up there on the line that he didn't like. So Fuller will go to the sideline. This is his first game of the year. Four minutes, 17 seconds left to play. Kansas City in possession. The ball on the Kansas City 36. The Chiefs trail by three. 17 to nothing at half time and dominated the first half. Steve Fuller coming out of the third quarter. Six out of six for 77 yards. Stan Rome is now as a wide receiver for Kansas City. Monty Jackson, the quarterback for Oakland, is on the sideline. Still. Fuller going to that side, and he's got the completion at about the 47 to Stan Rome. The 6'5", three-year man from Clemson. It was a basketball player. Clemson, in fact, uh, he played some with the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a first down for Kansas City after an 11-yard pickup. There he is, a former basketball player. Fuller throwing to uh, the side with two wide outs, using one to clear the other out, and Stan Rome was the one he decided to hit on that play. Good reach, good jumping ability at 6'5", 218. You know who's a leading rusher for Kansas City today? Fuller. Yeah. <laughs> Three rushes, 43 yards. Delaney, by the way, is still in uniform and on the sideline. Kansas City trailing by three. First down to KC, 47. Here comes the blitz. Fuller swings it out to head, not coming out of the backfield. He is bulldog down on the 48-yard line by Ted Hendricks. And the flag is dropped. It'll be headed by the map 
base mask or not? Well, I think it was on Otis McKinney. Otis came in and took a semi-late shot. It was, wasn't even a, a great effort at a late shot. First but the, the officials trying to protect the runner decided to go ahead and call it on McKinney. Look at the frustration on the face of Ted Hendricks. There's a man who a few hours ago was smiling very widely. Now showing a little more concern and questioning the official who's standing over him. Fifteen big ones coming up against Oakland. We'll see the replay here as Hendricks grabs a hold. There's no foul. Sparing defense number 23. First down. That was a late shot. Pardon me. We had a different angle up here and seeing it from our end zone. You can see that uh, McKinney did try to stick his helmet in there and take it away from Hadnot. At the 32 of Oakland, first down, Kansas City. Four minutes, five seconds left. Oakland 17, Kansas City 14. We've seen two ball games today. A first half and a second half. Fuller zips it over the middle, incomplete intended for Marshall, who tried to make a diving catch. Pass incomplete. Now let's go to Brian Gumbel in New York for an update. Merle, down in Texas, it would seem the Cowboys are going to hold on to beat the Dolphins. 50 seconds left. David Woodley tries, but instead finds Everson Walls, his eighth interception of the year, and the Cowboys are out in front by a point with 50 seconds to play. Merle? Bryant, uh, that game is kind of finishing like this one has started to finish. Second down, 10 at the 32 of Oakland. Can Kansas City pull it out? Stan Rome is into the game. Dixon is out as a wide receiver. Second and ten. Fuller in the pocket, throwing over the middle. He's got his man inside the 25. Henry Marshall, his favorite target of Burgess Owens. He yanks him down. That's short of a first down. They'll have about, well, wait a minute. They're going to have less than I thought to go for a first down. The ball spotted near the 22. Third down and inches to go for the Kansas City Chiefs with three minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the ball game as Dixon returns at tight end and Rome goes out for Kansas City. Good pattern, good throw by Fuller. Didn't get the full 10 yards, but he's got, at this stage of the game, two more shots to get that extra yard, yard and a half he needs for a first down and get down to the 20-yard line. Defensive backs of Oakland laying off a little farther. Fuller coming back underneath for the pattern. Fuller, eight out of nine, passing in this half. timeout we may have to measure this Referee. Randy McClanahan and Matt Millen the linebackers fill the hole clock is stopped three minutes eight seconds remaining in the game yeah. we were all saddened this week to learn of the passing of our good friend Lynn Farris a well-known sportscaster in Kansas City in the past Lynn succumbed to cancer this week and we send our sympathy and our condolences to Lynn's family. Any part of the ball will do it. First down, Kansas City. Lynn loved these Chiefs. First down on the 22-yard line. You know, Kansas City is displaying a lot of poise, a lot of the what the Raiders like to call their own attributes. Being down and coming back, getting this close, possibly getting ahead at this time. First down, under three minutes to play. Marshall, the man in motion. Billy Jackson, Billy Jackson getting to the 20. To 20. Burgess <laughs> Owens on the tackle. Clock showing 236 and counting. The Chiefs have Nick Lowry if they need him. Lowry from the 20 to 29 yard area, three out of three from 30 to 39, five out of five. Right now, the Chiefs aren't thinking of tie, they're thinking of win. Right now, the Oakland defense is, defense is thinking of stop the offense of Kansas City. Kansas City letting the clock run. Two minutes, eight seconds. Fuller going for it all. He's got J.T. Smith. Call. The pass interferred. Number 37 in the inch. First down, one yard line. That call.
close. Fuller going back, looking right, looking for 89 Marshall. Or 86 Smith, pardon me, you'll see it. We are blocked, a little obscured, but folks, that is a close call. I'm glad I didn't have to make it. And right now, I'm glad I'm not Lester Hayes, who's very upset and has a right to question it. First and goal to go for Kansas City. Two minutes, four seconds remaining in the game. Kansas City shot out for the first half, a chance to take the lead now. Beckman in motion. Here comes the power play, and this time the Raiders are looking for it. Burgess Owens nailed Billy Jackson. That was the play that Kansas City scored the second touchdown on. Oakland just said, you can fool me once, but you're not going to fool me twice. They've had a tendency to run it and run it effectively. You can see it didn't work this time. We're down to the two-minute warning, and we'll be right with more pro football action after a look at today's fantastic finish. Here in Oakland, Bedlam, as the crowd reacts, as the Kansas City Chiefs come to the line of scrimmage on a second down and goal to go, and referee Bob Frederick calls time. Defense, defense. That's what the Oakland Raider fans wanted. Look at this final score. The Dodgers beat the Yankees 2-1 to one to take a one-game lead of the World Series. Here comes the power play. Second and goal. Jackson and Hatton out of the running backs. At the goal line, touchdown. Billy Jackson following James Hadnot's block. Just barely got that ball across the plane and can City takes the lead with a minute 57 seconds left to play in the game. Billy Jackson scoring behind that wing formation. Beckman didn't pull this time. The people on his side of the line of scrimmage blew out the opposition. You see Matuzak being taken on by a back and the back getting a good hit on him as uh, Jackson takes it into the end zone. Hayes is there to greet him but on the wrong side of the wide stripe. So Kansas City takes the lead with 157 to go in the fourth quarter. seconds left to play the Kansas City Chiefs have taken a 21 to 17 lead over the Oakland Raiders after the Raiders led by 17 to nothing at halftime we said this has been two games the Raiders in the first half the Chiefs in the second half left as Lowry will kick off to Willis and Whittington for the Raiders but don't count these Raiders out either they've got a long bomber in Mark Wilson They've got the speedy wide receivers in Cliff Branch, Bob Chandler, and Morris Bradshaw. But Kansas City, conceivably, if they can hold this lead, could conceivably take over the lead in the West if the Bears can beat the Chargers in Chicago. They are in overtime, or if that game ends in a tie in Chicago. The Raiders have been penalized 10 times for 123 yards this year. about the 29-yard line. 21-yard return. Dave Plug made the tackle for Kansas City. So, in penalties, you see it right there. The Chiefs 5 for 68, the Raiders 10 for 123. Reports uh, here in, the reporters here in Oakland are writing that the NFL has got it in for the Raiders because of their proposed move to Los Angeles. Story. Wilson to his back. Gary Jensen at the 30, 35, 40, and out of bounds at about the 41 yard line. The clock is stopped with a minute 45 to go. You know, the Raiders aren't out of it, even with a young quarterback. They've got a lot of help standing on the sideline as Jensen took the ball out of bounds wisely after the first down. But uh, Wilson can look over there and see Tom Flores, who's been through the battles and the wars before. You've got Jim Plunkett. You've got a lot of good people, even Ray Guy, who plays 13 quarterback, can help him out in these situations. Everybody looking with interest at that young man right there, Mark Wilson. He got 12 on the last play. What can he get on this play? That's Bob Chandler across midfield of the 48-yard line. And another first down for the Oakland Raiders on a 10-yard pickup to Bob Chandler, who has been out since uh, the season's opener with 
a removal of the spleen. He's wearing a flak jacket. Five defensive backs on the field now for Kansas City. That last play took four seconds. Chandler splitting wide of offside. Going to the right is Branch. First of 10 on the Chiefs, 48. Wilson to the sideline again. This time winning for number 41. Wilson is handling it like a veteran now. In his second starting assignment of the year, he got eight yards on that one. Stopped the clock with a minute 36 to go. This is Brian Dumble in New York. In Chicago, the Bears now have the best scoring opportunity of the overtime session. Chargers and Bears tied at 17. Dan Fouts over the middle. Comes away instead with Doug Plank, who returns it inside the 30. The Bears now with a good scoring chance. That ball game tied at 17 in an extra session. Merle? Thank you, Brian. We'll watch it closely in Chicago. Watching it closely here in Oakland. And the pass is away by Wilson. He hits Barry Jensen. Jensen inside the 30 of the 28. The clock is running with a minute 24 seconds. As Derek Jensen filling in for the ailing Mark Van Egan picks up 12 yards on that pass play as Oakland is now going to call timeout. The Raiders wanted to try to kill the clock with a possibly a pass to the sideline. But now they use a timeout with the ball of the 20 nine-yard line of the Kansas City Chiefs at a minute 15 left to play in the ball game. The executive producer of NBC's NFL football is Don Olmeyer. Coordinating producer, Ted Nathanson. The telecast of today's game, produced by Roy Hammerman, directed by Barry Stoddard. Technical director, Ray Fagelski. Associate director, Jim Mowry. Thank you, gentlemen, for some beautiful pictures today. And here in the booth with us, our spotters are Bill Breslin and Lynn Shapiro, and Ted Reinholtz is our statistician. As Mark Wilson talks to a former Oakland quarterback and now the head coach, Tom Flores, who, by the way, has been in three Super Bowls, one with the Raiders as a coach, one as a player, and one as a backup quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, Lynn Dawson, as Marv Levy, who saw his team come from a 17-0 deficit at halftime to a 21-17 lead, now hoping, hoping, hoping that his defense can stop Oakland. The Raiders have to have a touchdown. Well, this is what football is all about. You've got a tight situation, a minute 15 to go. The Raiders have to score. Even Art Shell, 14-year veteran, is excited. You see, the crowd's excited, too. This is, this is the epitome of what football is about. Instances like this, and the best usually comes out. First down to the 29 of Kansas City. Mark Wilson under a rush, but goes to the sideline to Whittington, who really takes a pop and drops the football to the 23-yard line. Lloyd Burris, the rookie from Maryland, really put a blast on Whittington as he was taking that reception, juggling the ball, did not have possession as he went to the ground. So talk about a good hit. Wilson looking back and then to the sidelines where the safest patterns are for his receivers underneath. But a good hit by Burris jarred the, bar, the ball loose. And that's what you can, well, you can owe it all to that right there. A fine hit by that man, number 34, Lloyd Burris. One minute, eight seconds remaining in the game. Kansas City, 21, Oakland, 17. Oakland led at the half, 17 to nothing. They own the first half. Kansas City has come back in the second half to move into a four-point lead. They show the blitz. Wilson with time, going for the downs. The pattern broke down, though. Bob Chandler had cut to the post, and Mark Wilson went to the corner as D. Ron Cherry was back there and almost intercepted the pass. When you when you've got a young man starting at quarterback and a receiver that's been back, is just coming back after a seven-week layoff, you have two fine defensive backs back there. Wilson threw the wrong way, or Chandler broke the wrong way, one or the other. The coordination not being good could have been a very, very costly mistake. One minute, two seconds remaining. Kansas City, 21, Oakland, 17. Third down and 10 on the Kansas City 29. Mark Wilson in his second start of the year. Stumbles and goes down. He can still get up and throw the ball. He completes it. You can see that. To Jensen. And Jensen is on the run. Inside the 20 of the 19. He made the first down. What a play. People say it's awfully hard for you to throw on your back. Sitting down, Wilson gets rid of the ball. He's untouched. He can do it. 
Dumps the ball off to Jensen, who makes an equally outstanding play. As we said earlier, the best usually comes out, and we're seeing some fine performances in a very crucial situation by both ball clubs. They bring out the sticks. The crowd will tell you if they have it or not. As a result, Derek Ramsey, pass interference call against them, ball on the one-yard line for the Oakland Raiders. First and goal for the Raiders. Jensen doesn't get it. The Kansas City line holds. A tremendous effort by the Kansas City Chiefs, led by Gary Spaney, the linebacker, Lloyd Burris, the strong safety, and the Raiders take their last timeout. A timeout for the Oakland Raiders with a ball of the three yard line. And they have a second down and goal to go. And let's go to New York for an update. Merle John Rivetto, a rookie kicker out of Southwest Louisiana, has set the city of Chicago on fire. 538 left in overtime, a 26 yard field goal. Would you believe the one in six Bears have upset the Chargers 20 to 17? Merle? No, I don't believe it, Brian. <laughs> I believe it. The Chicago Bears, who were demolished last Monday night by the Detroit Lions, have now beaten San Diego. And if Oakland pulls this game out of the fire, San Diego, Denver, and Kansas City would have identical records of 5-3, and three, and the Raiders would be 4-4. Four and four. And could history be on the verge of repeating itself? It's a long way to go before this season is over. But remember, these Raiders, who are Super Bowl champions, didn't get off to any spectacular start last year either well no they didn't and they can come back Oakland's faced with a situation no timeouts second and goal look for the pass here's the call left you'll see it coming up the play fake here semi play fake hit from the blind side by 51 Charles Jackson who jars the ball loose Spaney picks it up with a core of blockers around him there's no way number 60 Kurt Marsh is going to get in there you'll have people dropping back and cutting down the pursuit Spaney takes it 90 exhausting yards with a touchdown 
But Spaney surely is a very, very happy young man as Charles Jackson celebrates with the upraised arms of Kansas City, Kansas City game-winning touchdown. And so the Chiefs defense comes up with a big play again. Last week, Whitney Paul picked up a fumble recovery, went 47 yards for a touchdown against Denver, and now Spaney, a 90-yard goal for Kansas City. Those linebackers know how to score. 24 seconds left on the clock, and Kansas City now leads Oakland 28 to 17. So, if, and now, it almost becomes a certainty. Kansas City holds this lead. Kansas City will move into undisputed possession of first place in the Western Division of the AFC. The Chiefs would have a 6-2 record. San Diego, a loser today in Chicago, 5-3. Denver, a loser in Buffalo, also 5-3. And, and the Raiders would go 3-5. But what a tremendous effort by these Oakland Raiders trying to turn it around this year. After being shut out three games in a row, they came back to beat Tampa Bay and almost, almost had the Chiefs going today. Well, what a tremendous effort by the Kansas City Chiefs being down 17 points. Having that pride and poise, two words that the Oakland Raiders gauge themselves by and displayed today. But having that same kind of pride and poise to come back, making the big plays, the same big plays this week they made last week against Denver, and actually winning the ball game even when it was even when it was down, downing them down to the final 24 seconds. Coming up with the big plays that good teams have to make. Oakland's made them for years. Kansas City is making them again. Kansas City beat Oakland two weeks ago, 27 to nothing. The Chiefs have defeated Oakland in four of the last five games, including the last two in Oakland. And George, you and I were here for one of them two years ago, I believe. Yes, a wild, we wild finish. Yes, we were. I think a missed field goal is what decided it then. Nick Lowry to kick it off. 24 seconds remaining. He puts it on the ground. And it's finally kicked out of bounds by Chester Willis. And that's where the ball will be put in play at the eight-yard line. Quickly scores now. Buffalo beat Denver. And Washington a winner over New England. Cleveland, big win over Baltimore. Tampa Bay, defeated by Philadelphia. Atlanta, upset for the New York Giants. St. Louis, a big upset over the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings, second loss of the year. Detroit beat Green Bay. New Orleans, upset Cincinnati. Dallas, a one-point win over the Miami Dolphins. The New York Jets upset by Seattle. San Diego upset by the Chicago Bears. And San Francisco defeated the Los Angeles Rams. And that's the way it's gone today in the NFL. What a week. Raiders ball. Wilson go upstairs to try to get what he can. Right over the middle. Weeks the pass to number 33. Kenny King is running back of the 21. They have no timeouts left. The clock running down. Gary Spaney, who had the 90-yard touchdown run made the tackle and there will be no more plays in this ball game maybe there will be mark wilson wants one more out of it three seconds left this will be the final play of the ball game wilson going for the bomb throwing for the distance and it is picked off it is intercepted by gary green and the kansas city chiefs bring the ball back green goes down to the 40 yard line stay tuned after these messages from your local station or here's boomer already in progress except in pacific time zones where we've seen it at regular time the a